All right, hey, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy, and we're playing as Luigi. Yahoo! It's a Luigi time. Oh. Thank you, Prison Gaming says I love your channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great, great to see everyone in the chat. Hey, Amy. Hi, Fernando. He said, "Why?" He uh, Mountain Dew Gaming. Hello, uh, Fernando C. Maria, Minito. Hey, Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. Hey, Iris. Hi, Judd. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh, what else could possibly go wrong? Hello, Ruben. I'm Maria and C Cesar. Cesar. Hello, um, Alexander and M Fr Elite and Jacob. I hope everyone's having a fantastic night tonight. Hello, Jason Toddy, Gaming K says, how are you guys? Luke's having a little bit of a headache, um, but other than that, he's doing okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to cancel tonight's eleven o'clock stream because the Luke, turtles game gave Luke, me a headache. Luke can't really like look at a lot of flashing lights uh, for a long time, so. No, it has nothing to do with that. Okay. Old old school games. Like, they're known for making people sick. Okay. Like, because they have, like, kind of like a strobe effect to them, flickering sprites. New games, even games like the past 20 years, they don't give me headaches. Retro games tend to give me headaches sometimes. Um, ow. I don't know where um, I'm going. I can try to look for them, Joey. Um, it's hard for I get a lot of messages on Instagram, but I can definitely do the best I can. Oh, no. Um, like, if we have a member select stream that I need to get information for, then I'll um, try to find that Instagram stuff. But um, I will, okay. I will, I can only do the best I can. I will definitely look for them, though, Joey. Thank you so much for sending them. It says, I changed my profile pic yesterday. Did you get the inter Instagram photos? So we get a lot of messages on Instagram. I'm not able to comb through all of them, but I will definitely check for them. Thank you so much for sending those, Joey. And I hope you're having a fantastic night. Hello, um, Twisted5214. Hey, Jake Blunt. Hey, Brandon Williams. Um, hello, um, Super Steve Star and Gaming K and uh, Jacob. Hey, Chad Akarui. This is just in time. I just made coffee. Awesome. Cool. And great to see you guys. Okay, have fun at PE class, said why. Thanks for stopping by. Hope everyone's having a great night. So Luke is having a little bit of a headache, so just bear with him. And um, yeah, the old school games uh, can give people headaches sometimes. But Luke is a trooper for trying his best. So, yeah, there is no, I mean, it's possible there might be an 11 o'clock stream, but there's not going to be a Batman stream because I can't, I can't think. Um, I didn't think there was going to be a problem, but when I couldn't, when I couldn't get the code in right, it would have been more fun if we had the code working because we would have had more lives, probably would have gotten through the game. I'm so it was sorry. just oh, it's fine. I my really hands my hands code. aren't fast enough to do the code anymore. It's very hard. I tried. I did it once. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. But yeah, if you do the code right, you get um. I'm trying to think. I think you get like fi lives? fifteen or nine lives plus you get a stage. Mm -hmm. Langford Artist says, what is the best way to play Galaxy? Um, with Joy-Con motion controls or Pro Controller? I'm playing with a Pro Controller. I mean, I like playing everything with a Pro uh -oh. Controller. I don't... No! I don't think motion controls... I like... Uh... Austin says, have you guys heard of the Trails series? Or is it Trials series? Trials? Trails? Trials? Oh, you, do you mean like the tri like the bike game with trials, or no? Or is it trails? Um, I don't think I've heard of it. Um, I've heard of a trial series though, Austin. But I don't know what trials. I don't know if there was like a it autocorrected or something. 
me Simon to eat, um, Aiden says, I'm improving my Animal Crossing town and can't wait for you to see it. Awesome. And great to see you guys. Still with Kai Productions and, um, Amy Smith and, uh, Funny Fish and Resident Links. So, and Francesco. So, if you guys missed it, we just did a really awesome, uh, member select stream and we played Turtles 2 on the NES. And we had a lot of fun. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching that. And it was a great time. And it was so thank you so much again to Carlos for that. Um, Member Select stream. It was awesome. Oh, thank you so much, Fernando. Steve with the super chat says, Luke and Amber are the bee's knees. Awesome. Thank you so much, Fernando. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks so much for the super chat. Okay. What galaxy are we on? Uh, we're in the bedroom galaxy now. Bee's knees. I see what you did there, Fernando. Ah, no! Great to see everybody today. Simon, um, Bran, uh, said why, Aiden, other Aiden. Alexander, we got two Aidens here today, possibly three actually. Line plays, um, and um, Linkachu, the Master Crafter, and Ruben and Joey. Great to see you guys today. Hopefully, everyone's having a great day. I hope your head feels better later. Mm, thank you. And tomorrow is G.I. Joe and Smash Brothers. Oh, so I'll have to be better no matter what. Oh, almost there. Alright, first star of the night. Yaha! Awesome! B puns are back, baby. B thankful for that. Definitely, Fernando. Oh yeah, so also saying the trial series, trail series, JRPGs, three story arcs, liberal arc, sky astrology, crossbell arc with a zero AO duology, and the Erebonia arc with Cold Steel series. Have you mm. ever heard of that? Vaguely. No, we haven't. I I haven't, but Luke has vaguely heard of it, Austin. Luke says vaguely. Thank you for letting us know, though, Austin. All right, so that's the first one done. Phoenix right for Smash for uh, Brandon says. Phoenix right for Smash, Amber. That's what we all want. I hope so. I hope so, Brandon. Also, Crash Bandicoot or Spiral for Smash, Amber. <laughs> I, I was hoping I would be able to leave halfway through the stream because I was kind of tired, but I'll try to stay for the whole thing since you have a headache. That's fine. Luke and Amber, Steve comes out on the 13th, not tomorrow. Because tomorrow's the 12th. It's tomorrow for us. Oh. It'll be tomorrow. I think we're getting it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're able to. We're gonna look at it tomorrow. Because we're able to. We're able to get it tomorrow. But thank you so much, Alex, for letting us know. Um. Joseph West says, I have a question. Today is a national com. Okay. That's a good cookie. We have... We don't do... I don't really... Okay. I didn't understand that at all. Alright, hello, um... 
Oh, that's right. I need hello, to get all Brady these. Power says, hello, humans. Hello, Aiden. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Alexander. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> hey, Rocket Raccoon. Funny Fish, Joseph West, um, and uh, a fan, oh, nice. Amy, Prison Gaming. Great to see you guys. No. I hope you are having a great day today. What? Oh, I have the other stream open. I'm sorry. I'm so hot of it. That one's right there. Trails right. of Cold Steel 3 is on Switch. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know. We have a code for it. <clears throat> we don't have time to look at it. This music, though. I love it from Super Steve Star. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. yeah, if you oh. guys, if your comment, uh, to answer, I don't know anyone's comment or whatever, oh. ever, any kind of political issues, any kind of like, social, um, any kind of issues that are non in the news or any kind of non gaming, like news related stuff that, you know, people could like end up like, you know, like getting in an argument over or anything like that, we don't allow that on our channel. Like, we don't allow any Glenn politicians' names or anything like that. Social or political issues. Um, it's just like supposed to be a time where you can just enjoy gaming and just have fun. So, any like really issues like that, we don't allow in the chat because irrelevant <clears throat> because we don't want to have arguments start for no reason. So, it's just better just not to talk about it on either side. Darn it. I need that little coin. But um, in general, the uh, chat is PG-13, so you can, you know, you know, light swears are allowed. Um, whatever you want to talk about, it's fine. Just no role playing, anything that is from uh -oh. you know, political or anything like that. Why would they have an extra life there if it leads to death? What the heck? How did I do this last time? We just like to have a chat where everybody can just in enjoy it and have fun watching the game. Mm -hmm. Nothing that's going to lead to... No console wars either. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean, that's not an official rule with the console wars, but if it gets crazy, we, we delete, like, console war comments, too. Yes. Because we don't want anyone to, like, just get in a huge argument on the chat, so... No, this is right. Wait, no. This hey, Ian, right. Mr. Turbo Man. Hey, Brady. Hey, Amy. Okay. Hello, Ruben. Hi, Dante Lopes and Naomi. Great to see you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Yeah, Simon says, we want to have fun here and leave the world outside. That's right, Simon. You know it. This Definitely. This actually works pretty decent. Uh-oh. Um, gaming cases for dinner. My girlfriend is fixing some Asian food called katsudon, and she's gonna make me eat it when she knows I'm a picky e eater. So what even is katsudon? Does anyone know what katsudon is? Because I, do. I don't. I you, do. You know what it is? Mm -hmm. He says he's a picky eater. Gaming K is a picky eater, so... Mm -hmm. Amber, are bee puns allowed in the chat from Chad? Yes. Um, Puns are allowed. It is allowed, except for if I bring up Luke's B costume that I made him wear, then I am kicked out of the chat. Yeah, Amber's banned. Because that is very controversial. Amber's banned. I I am banned. <laughs> Amber's banned. <clears throat> oh no, not catch the stupid rabbit. Doing pretty awesome today, Naomi. How are you doing? Amber, you can shoot the rabbit. Oh. Oh, wait. You don't even have your controller tonight. Never mind. I'll shoot the rabbit. You have to go up and get it. Stupid rabbit! What? And we try our best also to not talk about really... Crazy issues, except for sometimes I end up talking about weird things like gnomes or something. So I Luke tries to keep me under control by saying what? pineapple. A new member? What? Oh wow. no! Uh, not a new member. A uh, renewed. Renew. Thank you so much for oh upgraded Luke. What? 
to superhero status. One sec. Superhero hype. And look, we still haven't done the veteran hero thing for Jason Todd because I don't think we had it at the time. Did we add him, though, to the switches? Yep. All right, so we have an upgrade. Superhero hype from Casey Wood. Hero hype. Thank you so much for being a superhero, Casey. Oh, okay. I caught the bunny. Yeah, Jason Todd's right Green there. Green Lantern power. Okay. I just saw Jason. Yep, definitely. And thank you guys for being patient. I'm going to make sure I put those friend codes. I haven't added everybody. I tried to add some people. I finally added Champion76 on our friend codes and Dante Lopes and some other people. Um, so sorry it took me so long, guys. Um, so, and I think I added maybe Mr. Turbo Man, some other people. So great to see you guys. Steve comes out on the 13th, USA, 14th in Japan. They did it so everyone gets it at the same time. Ah, but it comes out the 13th in another country. <laughs> which is tomorrow. What? What? Upgrade again? Wait, another? What's a legendary? Oh my gosh! Whoa, legendary hero hype! Oh my gosh! Thank you, Casey Wood! Wow! And we don't have veteran stuff yet? We still need to do our veteran hero hype for. Oh, okay. But, uh, legendary hero hype! Woohoo! And we're still working on your your veteran, um, in, you're gonna get your little veteran thing for uh, yourself, uh, Jason Todd, when we get that. Sorry about that, we've got a new streaming uh, thing. So yeah, leg uh, legendary hero hype! Awesome! Thank you so much, Casey Wood! You're breathtaking! Thank you for upgrading to Legendary Hero! Yeah, and uh, guys, just so you know, I have a, a little bit of a, we'll say, tension headache uh, from playing some retro stuff. I think next time I'm going to save retro streams until after all our other stuff, because they can make me kind of blah. The only reason, if you're wondering, hey, wait, why didn't you have any problems playing Super Mario Bros. 35? It's like, because it was, um basically designed to play on an HD television, whereas we were stretching or we were um, upscaling a NES game from 1990, as is, um, complete with sprite flicker and all kinds of things that was just slow down, um, all that fun stuff. Mm. Oh, come on, go backwards. Jump back. Oh yeah, I need to probably use my little star. Hmm? Star bit. Star, you mean your little control? Yeah, so this is um this is gonna be a pretty chill stream, just as people are aware. Um just heads up. I mean okay. we'll we'll figure it out guys if we're I mean I think I think we're gonna be able to look at it tomorrow. If for some reason we can't we'll look at it the next day. I don't but, don't worry yeah. about it. Like, I'm just. I don't think my controller is time. Oh, you did get your controller, but yeah, it's not. It's not fun. Oh no. Oh no. But thank you guys so much for letting us know. Um, I can't get those. Just oh, nice. that's gonna be super close. All right, I'll put you on. Good now. job, Weechi. There you go. Yeah, thank you, Casey Wood. Oh no, not this again. Mm. Wait, wait, hang on, honey. Okay, there I am. You go. There you mm -hmm. go. Good job. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, the music to this game is really nice. I'm kind of glad this is the, the levels tonight because I, I kind of need that. It kind of has a nice feel to it when you play as Luigi because everything is green and then the 
grass is green, the weed is green. No, I mean, it's always green. This is this particular galaxy. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, like, it it's very calming when you play a because it's very red. Hi. It's just weird that it's almost the exact same game. Like, you're playing pretty much the same game. It is the same game, it's just you're playing as Luigi. I just don't understand why people would want to go through it again as Luigi. I'm, I'm glad we're going through it again, I never got to. Like, I never unlocked Luigi on the, uh, on the Wii. Yeah, I'm so proud of you that you unlocked him, though. Thank you. This galaxy, this um, one looks like a worm. Yeah, it's supposed to. Also, I get to actually look at the game more because usually I was sitting there like hyping up the chat like, mm. Hey guys! And so I actually get to see some more of this. Like, I was just like saying hello to everyone in the chat when we were playing Avengers and I missed Captain America dying. <laughs> and then I was like, where'd Captain America go? And everyone was like, Oops. Oh. Cap had to go somewhere. He'll be back. And I didn't understand the storyline at all. I missed that. Oh, worms and apples. Yep. In cartoons, they always have worms and apples. It's like... Kind of made me not want to have apples so much as a kid. When I, when I picked apples from an uh, actual, like, you know, like, we went apple picking and stuff, like, I don't know, with a group, I don't know, it was like a church group or something, but... Yeah, there were actually, when I used to go, like, or maybe it was Girl Scouts or something, like, I just, they, we got apples and some of them had little holes in them, and yeah, you had to be careful about the worms, like, there are a lot of worms in apples, actually, when you actually, well, when they spray it with pesticides, and there aren't any more, but, like, if you actually just have a natural growing apple, like, yeah, there's gonna be worms in it. Thank you, Thank you sweetie. You're welcome. Um, guys, tomorrow uh, is the last episode of Dragon Ball Fighters, um, and then Smash Brothers will take its place for one day only. Um, that one game, Crash Bandicoot, will be at noon, and then um, GI Joe will take its place. Like GI Joe will debut tomorrow at three-ish, I think. Um, now. It might. I don't know. We'll see. Um, because we don't have... I'm pretty sure... Yeah. Whoops. No, oh, come on. There we go. Thank you. Oops. Can I reach that? Yes, I can. Oh, I love this galaxy, though. I'm just so happy. Yeah, I love the music. Mm. Now I get to enjoy the game a little bit. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Was I not supposed to do that? No, I was. A little happy worm. Bye bye Will you guys be looking at Pokemon DLC on the 22nd? Yes. Yep. Games we're looking at is um, for this month. GI Joe Transformers. Ow. Finishing up Mario Galaxy with the Luigi streams. Uh, what else are we doing? Um, there was another game. Oh, we'll be looking at Zoids uh, this Friday. Like uh, we have partnered up with the company who does Zoids. Cool. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But we can't post anything until Thursday. I have to look at the NDA again. Can we go here? Yeah, this is it. I don't know if you guys remember. I haven't played Zoid since the GameCube, so. I don't even know what Zoid is. Zoids is a anime. Great to see everybody in the chat. Hey, Brady. Hey, Cool Shinji. Um, Alex, Minito, Ninetales, Yoshi. And Brandon, Amy Smith, um, Funny Fish, um, yeah. Steve Smith, and um, Buddy Dudes, E Mr. Turbo Man, and Casey, our newest um, legendary hero. Great to see you guys. Hey, Simon, um, and uh, the Dark Knight Batman. Great to see everyone in the chat. Hopefully everyone's having a great day. 
Ow. Hey, you guys, um, it's okay, like... Uh -oh. I don't really like a lot of M-rated games, so I didn't really... I mean, we had Bayonetta on the Wii U, but we didn't play it. We don't do M-rated games on this channel. But I don't really like... We did Devil May Cry, but there was... Honestly, I don't like... I mean, I think Bayonetta is a witch as far as I know, so I don't yep. really like... I don't really like witches. Like, I don't mind playing Devil May Cry because he's, like... Demon Slayer. A demon, but he, like, fights for humanity. But I don't like playing as the evil people, so... The fact that Bayonetta is a witch, I don't really... That's probably why I don't really like playing it, but... Uh, but I know that a lot of people really like playing Bayonetta, and it was on the Wii U. We... I mean, I think we were thinking about looking at it on one of the channels, but we Long just... Time ago. We didn't because we only play up to teen. But yeah, I mean, I know what I know what it is. I know that she covers herself with her hair and she has like guns or something, and yep. she wears really high heels and like I don't remember what else she does. Like, I guess the gameplay looks really cool. So, but sorry about that, guys. I'm not a huge fan of. I'm more of a Princess Le uh, Leia or Princess Zelda type person. I like princesses. Like, I like girls uh, that are, like, girls next door that are, like, sweet and innocent. You like, like Samus. Yeah, I like Samus. I like, um, yeah, I like Metroid. But, like, I just, I have very, um, <clears throat> like, I know what Bayonetta is. I just, like, like, even that one game that we did that was, like, Bikini Zombie Slayer, that was a little <laughs> hard for me to take. I'm not really big into M-rated games, so, like, I... Except for I am playing Assassin's Creed, but I mean, it's Ezio, so... It's Ezio, yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm very limited. I ha Let's say I have very limited choices in my... If I do play an M-rated game, I have to really like it to want to play it. Does that make sense? Like, oh. I mainly like playing games that are happy, like this. Oh. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, that's Even fine. that Astral Chain game was a little hardcore for me. It was a little Astral dark. Astral Chain was a little weird. It was a little dark for me. Like the games that talk about like really dark things. Even though I am kind of dark. Um, They're super dark. <laughs> I don't know why, but with my games, I don't want things to be too dark. I didn't need to be. I will over-explain that, but I do know what Bayonetta is, and we did have it on the Wii U. I thought I could reach that. But we just didn't cover it. Mm -hmm. I guess I can't get that. I'm gonna mess it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is your next stream gonna be about? Hey, Amari Harris, great to see you today, and thanks so much for um subscribing to my channel and for coming over here and checking out the stream. Um, um, I usually do on my channel, Amari. I do um Animal Crossing, uh videos, um, Smash Brothers, I try to do community streams on different, uh -oh. different things. I was thinking about doing, um, like a community stream next time I stream on there of, like, uh, looking at, uh, Mario Kart again, but what kind of things do you like to see, Amari Harris? Um, let me know in the comments. I basically try to do community streams on what people want to see, so... Whatever you guys like playing, I try to do community streams. Within reason, like, I know a lot of people wanted me to do Dragon Ball Fighters on the on the Switch, but I'm still working on that. I do not know if I have it on the Switch, because a lot of people have it on the PS4. So, yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I just kind of, like, look at comments and see what a lot of people really want to see. And then if people are like, oh, I wish the Kamings would do a community stream on you know, this game they never have or it's been so long, then I try to do one on my channel so that people like have that community stream, if that makes sense. That's basically what I try to do. Um, I also sometimes look at indie games and stuff. Um, I can try to stream either tomorrow or the next day on my channel. Uh. Um, I really like Smash Brothers because pretty much everybody has Smash Brothers. I feel a little bit awkward when I try to stream something that hardly anyone has because then it's like I'm waiting forever for like one person to play with me and like nobody has it and then I feel like in my head I'm screaming at myself like this was a mistake. <laughs> 
<laughs> but um, I really want to do like uh, Dragon Ball Fighters on the PS4 and also on the Switch, but I I don't know like how that's gonna work because I tried doing like an online match of Dragon Ball Fighters. It was very complicated on the PS4, so maybe it's less complicated on the Switch. I may have a ver I may have a Dragon Ball Fighters on the Switch. I have to look. But if I have it, it's like a physical copy somewhere because I do not have it downloaded at all. Mm. Mm. Do we have any more RB's people? Why does this game make me want to play Kingdom Hearts? Music, probably. Amari Harris says, okay. <laughs> but your profile picture is cute and thanks so much for subscribing, Amari Harris. Great to see everybody coming into the chat. Um, Brandon Williams. Um, Brandon says Sora is a great choice for Smash. Agree. Um, great to see everybody. Mage Wolf, um, Francisco, Max, Funny Fish, Nine Tails, um, Sailor Venus. It says hello. Cecile Howitt. Um, Kievit, uh, I'm not very good at pronouncing names, guys. Carter and John Key is here, so I like dark stuff. Uh, Mr. Guim Santos says hello, Brazil now. I think i from Brazil, maybe? Hi, Emmanuel Sanchez. Hey, the dark Batman. And um, it's hello, Henrique says... Something in possibly Italian. Um, so you would rather play Double May Cry than Bayonetta Amber from OHX90? Yes, I would. I would rather be fighting for humankind, like than like I don't. I don't really want to fight for. Like the other team. The other team. Like I like to, I like to fight for the, the good guys. I guess. If that makes sense. Like, um, yeah. I'm dropping a little bit of frames. Not too many though. Da da da. da. Yeah, you can use the same cookie plate. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, guys, I have a little bit of a headache, so I'm I'm just kind of. Mhm. All right, so we got 47 out of. All right. <laughs> Mario for Smash. Let's go. Wait, what is that? Yeah, I know. We're, we're not getting into it. It's, it's, it's a Mario stream, sweetie. I don't want to get into it. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know why I decided to do that. Of course, I have it, I guess. Yeah, but, um, just, just so people know, I do, I did try to stream every day on my channel, but sometimes I will stream on Twitch and sometimes I will take a day off and just You're sit welcome. at the park and just relax because Amber needs trees. I cannot work every day because I get very stressed out. Like, I work at night, but I, I have to have days off, like, um, so sometimes I won't stream and I'll just be hanging out at the park or I'll take a nap and 
the day and then I'll be all refreshed for streaming at night. Just, I don't know if that makes sense, but... Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, you got him! Oh yeah, I already got that star though. So, I, I try to leave people a little note when I'm not streaming, like, have a good day, we're can't stream today. Mm. So, well, thank you guys so much for wanting to watch my streams and... I just try to stream whatever everybody wants to watch. Oh, I would like to stream like Mario Kart either tomorrow or the next day. What? So I'm going to try to do that. Oh. And I also right now I'm streaming Whoa. Assassin's Creed on um, from the from the Ezio collection. So Assassin's Creed 2. And if, if that's a little bit... Like it's really not that violent compared to M-rated games today. But... I do have to stream some M-rated games on my channel, otherwise my channel will end up being taken down by Kappa. But I do like playing um, Assassin's Creed 2. I think it's a lot of fun. It, I don't think I'm ready to play like a really high definition, like modern, like Assassin's like M-rated game like Ghost of Tsushima yet. That's a little too intense for me. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense. It's fine. Save me some cookie, please. I tried to play that, but it was too intense. You also were playing in black and white. I think you would have more fun playing in color. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Why do I smell onions? I don't know. Did you eat onions today? No. Okay. No, 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 and now we get to these. Oh. Okay, so there's just one more star piece. There we go. Uh. Okay. Oh, please stream Resident Evil Amber because it is not a KID friendly game. Um. Maybe. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep at night if I play that game on my channel, though. Maybe I could stream it at 7 in the morning. <laughs> I would stream it in the morning. Ah, uh, no. Cool, Yuvio says I'm back from streaming- or I'm back from, um, Jack in the Box. Isn't that like a really good food company or something like that? Cool. Awesome, Yuvio dude. Park Ranger Amber. Honestly, there is another Earth where I'm a park ranger. I guarantee you. Because that was my favorite job when I was growing up. I was a junior leader at the park district. And I worked that job every summer. Like, for three years. I knew how to identify the difference between a fox and a bear print. Um, I knew how to find... Um, Basically, like, there are, there is, like, like, in a lot of parks, you can find onions that grow naturally. Like, it's, like, natural, what are they, wild onions. Mm. I knew how to find different kinds of food. I know, I, I can tell you, you can send me a picture of poison ivy. I will be able to tell you exactly if it's poison ivy or not. I know exactly what it looks like. I know what it doesn't look like. I know how to tell if it's poison ivy. Um, I know how to tell the difference between, like, well, I used to know the difference between poison oak, poison ivy, all those nettles. Um, I've gotten all those things poison ivy, poison oak, nettles, everything. I know how to find fish eggs under a rock. I know how to find frog eggs. Oh, no. Um, yeah. I know how to basically, I mean, I would be. Like, I don't know, that would be my perfect ideal job. The only problem is like now, like I didn't, I grew up in a very small town where everything was pretty safe and there were all those people around the forest, but the forests around here, nobody's around them. So I think it's pretty dangerous for somebody like me, who's kind of small to walk in the forest alone. Cause you never know like who may end up going to the forest. I'm just saying not to be creepy or anything, but. It's not a good idea, like, unless you're a big burly guy and you have this huge dog with you or something, it's not usually the best idea to be walking alone in the forest, because you just never know who's going to be in there. 
I'm just saying. I'm not trying to be weird. I'm just trying to get like a life tip. A park ranger or a pink ranger? Mm, I would wish I would be a park ranger. I wish I would take martial. I wish I could take martial arts and be really strong and be able to defend myself, and then I could walk in the forest without worrying about it. The only thing I would worry about is being attacked by a pack of wolves, in which I don't know if I could really defend with that with martial arts. <laughs> Oh, mm. that's awesome, Minito. Great to have you in the chat. I miss slaying monsters. Dauntless, cop. Dauntless. Alright guys, I'm gonna try not to bother Luke too much. Um, I liked Princess Peach and Mario Sunshine. I thought she was sweet there. It depends on what game. Just end. Mm. Is she so cute? I don't I don't really relate to Princess Peach. She she kind of feels like she's a popular girl and I I most of the popular girls at my school were really mean, so I don't it's hard for me to relate to Peach. What? Oh my gosh! Casey Wood upgraded to Ultimate Hero! Wow! Ultimate Hero Hype! Thank you so much, Casey Wood, for becoming an ultimate hero. You're breathtaking. Thank you so much, Casey. Hero hype is real. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Casey. And thank you to all our members and patrons in the chat today. We hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much, Casey, for becoming an ultimate hero. You're breathtaking. Thank you, Casey. Thanks, Casey. You're amazing. <laughs> wow. Hype train. Uh -oh. How about a retro SNES baseball game with a mercy rule setting? Talk about revenge for Amber. <laughs> oh, you've got some ideas, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to race that baseball game just yet. <laughs> Rebecca says, I knew some cheerleaders in high school. Mm -hmm. We all did. Whoops. Yeah, weirdly enough, like, I... Funny story about high school is that I literally was... Oh, God. Well, because my... Well, I'll wait till after this. I don't know what I'm funny saying. Story. Oh, jeez. I think... Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Ah! Oh, oh, just let me die. Thank you. Game didn't decide what it was gonna do to me. It was like we'll leave you in limbo land. It felt like it. Funny story. I actually like um 
I don't know. Basically, I don't know how to explain this, but like... Just short and to the point. To the point, like, okay, so... That way, people who had problems with high school, you don't overdraft yeah. dramatize it. In grade school, I, you know, was like mercilessly, like, people were mercilessly mean to me. Mm -hmm. And then in fifth grade, like, I had, like, the popular girls group, like, ask me in middle school like to be part of their clan but they were so mean to all my friends and still making fun of all my friends that i was like ah uh, no thank you like okay. i don't think so and then they were even worse to me yep. after that so i mean if you like deny them what they want then it's even worse but i'm glad i made the right decision because i was like why would i be why would I be- I was just thinking to myself, why would I be part of your group if you're still mean to all my friends? You're so rude. Mm -hmm. They're just so mean, you know? What in the world? How? I'm not really getting past this. Ugh. Oh! What was I supposed to do? Mm, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. I don't remember. Were you supposed to jump on the bombs? Or jump on no. those? Oops, I'm not really happy. No, you're not supposed to jump on the bomb. But maybe use it as something to bounce off of to get to the next thing. No? Mm -hmm. What the heck, Ouija? Dang it! Oh, you're so sweet, Fernando. Well, Luke thought I was in the popular group, but I wasn't. But maybe... pretty enough to be a popular girl. Aww. But yeah, that's why I don't really. I see Princess Zelda as more like um, a girl that would be friends with everybody, and that's why I like Zelda better. I Peach feels like somebody that. And maybe I'm wrong about Peach, but Peach just feels like somebody that has a lot of expectations of people, and I don't... I mean, look at all the expectations she has for Peach, Mario. Peach felt like that, but Princess Toadstool in the Super Mario cartoon felt like a sporty girl. Oh, so Princess Toadstool felt different. Yeah, Princess Toadstool and Princess Peach are totally different characterizations. Oh, That's what it feels like. Oh, okay. I had, I, had a, I had a minimal crush on... Um, uh, Princess Toadstool from the Super Mario Brothers show, Princess Lana from Captain N, and Princess Zelda from uh, Legend of Zelda cartoon. When I was really little. Alright, so we need to go this way. Dang it! Is this really where I'm supposed to go? Alright, I'll just hold these back here then. Yeah, that's where I'm supposed to go. I really liked uh, Zelda's personality in the <gasps> cartoon. No! Shoot! I just think Zelda is just... I don't know what it is about Princess Zelda, but she just has the best personality. She is just so... She's, like, got everything. If I if I had to go by the voices of the, the girls that um, sounded the cutest, like, from those cartoons, it would be Zelda and Lana. Like, um, Princess Toadstool had, like, kind of this irritating voice. She was fun and spunky, but her voice was, like, just... It reminded me of, like, kind of a mix between Fran from The Nanny and, uh, and one other really annoying female voice. I can't remember the name of the character though. Some 80s show. Big Punky Brewster. Nah. She sounded like Punky Brewster a little bit. lost because the camera angle last time. And, like I said, my head hurts, so. Also, you see how Luigi skids a little bit when he walks? 
of Rosalina Amber. Uh-oh. I don't know. I honestly can't say. I honestly don't know. I mean, I haven't seen enough of Rosalina to form an opinion. <laughs> That's how I feel. She's only been in this game. Like, we know so very little about Rosalina. Sailor Venus says the only reason people were popular is because they only do what they can do in they do what they can do in life. Yeah. Great to see everybody. Hey John Doe, hey Simons. Simon says his sister punched out the leader of the Mean Girls and no one messed with her. Mm. That's awesome, Simon. Your sister sounds amazing. Wow, we got a new hero today. Welcome, Andre Andre. Hero hype. Yes, a new member. Wow, thank you for becoming a hero. Hero hype. Yeah, um, those of you disappointed about the whole Batman stream thing, let me just explain to you guys. Um, playing a game is easier than having to think about, like, talking about an extensive topic, like a podcast or something like that. If I was just playing a Batman game, you would totally get a Batman stream tonight. But because people want me to talk in detail about a very lengthy comic book arc, I can't do it. Because I'm, I'm not really talking right now while playing Luigi. I'm just playing the game. Plus, if Luke has a discussion, he wants to talk about it. it has to be well thought out. He doesn't want to miss any points because he has a headache. Because I'll have people calling me out, too. Oh, um, Luke. Hmm? Do we need to do a hero hype thing for new hero? That already showed Skeletor. Oh! Oh, that we don't do a separate hero hype? Wait, did... Guys, did Skeletor show up or no? No. Did Skeletor show up? Oh, he automatically shows up? He's supposed to, unless I accidentally shut him off. Did anybody see Skeletor for Super Chats tonight or anything? Or is he... He's missing an action. Did, did Skeletor show up for Andre becoming a hero? We no. still need to get our legendary hero emojis on there, too. Yeah, I know. When you guys did Super Chats tonight, did you see anything? Simon says she's just me, not amazing. I think she's really awesome. I think it takes really bravery to do that, Simon. I think your sister is cool. Yu-Gi-Oh! says who's the ultimate champion? Uh... Oh, he did it. Yes, he did. Skeletor did it. Skeletor did pop up? Okay. Guess whoever made the ultimate chanting crushed my day. It's okay, you, you dude. We still love you. You're still amazing. All of our ultimate heroes are amazing. You guys are all awesome in our eyes. We appreciate each and every one of you. Uh-oh. We're so thankful for you guys and... We love doing your baseball stream. We talked about it so much afterwards, and mm -hmm. it was so cool. We had we so much fun. We wish we could read read more English, so it's easier for us to do it. <laughs> we because had such a there's great time. apparently there's mini games. There's all kinds of stuff involved with that game. Yep. Cool. John Doe says, "Yep, Skeletor appeared." Hello, Matanui. Hi, Dark Knight Batman. Hey, Judd. Hey, Red Hood. 
Cisco Torch Shared Up. Hello. Hello, Jeremiah Hall. Hey, Reverse Joe. Rocket Raccoon. Hey, Naomi. And um, Sonic97 and Rebecca. That's the thing is like, everybody... The person that became an ultimate uh, hero was... Um, I have to scroll back, but it was uh, Casey. Casey went all the way up. Yeah, all Casey went years. all the way up. Casey Wood was the ultimate champion tonight. And great to have all our members and uh, patrons in the chat. And great to have everybody watching today. Great to see you guys. Rebecca, Fernando C, Mage Wolf, and Red Hood. And, um, great to see you guys. John Gee and Minito. And everyone in the chat, hopefully you guys are having a great day. New chapter has been added to the storybook. Mm. Well, that's the thing, though. It's like, everybody has to wait patiently for their um, ultimate stream, and then you have to, like, you get to watch everybody else do their, have their day in the sun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have their to have, have their stream, but you guys, Yu Gi Oh did like work really hard on his, and that was very sweet of you, Yu Gi Oh. To get all that um. Can you give me a break for a sec? And can you do story mode? Yeah, I can do all story. Right, I'm mode. gonna get you to uh, storybook oh, yeah. land. You realize my voice is somewhat shot, though. Your voice is not shot. It sounds cute. It doesn't sound like Rosalina. Well, you need to drink more tea. I don't- I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of tea bags. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, how much honey are you putting in it? I hardly have any honey, either. Okay, I'm, that's also why. I- I- I'm trying to- You know what I'm trying to do! Yeah, I know. I'm trying to budget things. Oh! Hello! I can't- Let us begin. Let us begin. You'll have to. Story time! Mm. Chapter 1! The Celestial Duo. Okay, I was trying to be quiet. <laughs> Chapter 1, The Celestial Duo. Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rustic spaceship holding a small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. Pinky promise. Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised Luma. At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, oh, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves, Luma? The girl and Luma fixed up the rusty spaceship and then the two set sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the celestial mother began. Chapter 2, Starbase Days passed with no sight of the comet or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended for as far as the eye could see. If I had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl above the rumble of her belly.
Before they left, she had packed all the essentials, telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and apricot flavored tea. But... I forgot to bring water! At this, Luma burst into gales of laughter. <laughs> and the girl began to pout. That was awkward. As long as, as long as I have store bits, I'll be fine, said Luma. Want some? And the little girl couldn't stay mad after hearing this. Luma continued to laugh, and the girl couldn't help but join in. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> All right, well, maybe just a nibble. Leaning far out of the ship, the pair began to collect star bits with the girl's net. They almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting them. The star bits tasted like honey. Chapter 3 The Comet A beam of light pierced through the ship's window. Thinking it was the morning sun, the girl peered through the window only to find a turquoise blue comet shimmering at her. The little girl shook the sleeping Luma awake and shouted excitedly, We have to get to that comet! The pair descended on the comet and found that it was made of ice. They looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop, utterly unable to take another step. Look! Peering down at the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed clusters of star bits encased in the ice. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my speciality, said Luma, beaming. There's ice here, but it's so warm. I bet there's water here, too. And the two decided to stay on the comet for a while. Now I understand why, because, uh... She could stay there because humans need water. Riding the turquoise comet, the pair continued their search for Luma's mother. Chapter 4, The Dream One night, the girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? She asked her mother's retreating back. Without turning, her mother replied, don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. I'm always watching over you, like the sun in the day and the moon at night. A wave of sadness washed over the girl. What about when it rains and I can't see the sun or the moon? Her mother thought for a moment before responding. I will turn into a star in the clouds and wait for your tears to dry. When she awoke, the girl's face was damp with tears. You have star bits in your eyes, said Luma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, These are tears, not star bits, Luma. I'm crying because I'll never see my mother ever again. At this, Luma began to cry too. Mama! Oh, Mama! Ah! The pair traveled through the starry skies, and though they encountered many other comets, not one of them held Lu Luma's mother. Luma was despondent. Now, now, Luma, the rain clouds won't go away if you keep crying. The girl said, giving Luma a squeeze. I'll give you a present if you stop crying. 
The girl closed her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of you. With these words, she felt a small spark in her heart. Chapter 5, Home The kitchen will go here, and the library will go over there, the girl said, busily to herself. We'll put the gate in here. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she had been bustling about at a feverish pace. It's a lot of work, but it, it's worth it to make a happy home. It turned out that the star bits weren't the only things buried in the ice. There were tools and furniture unlike anything they had ever seen, and the girl used them to build a home. Looking at the completed house, Luma remarked, Don't don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? With a library, bedroom, kitchen, <laughs> fountain, and a gate, it was certainly spacious. But still, something seemed to be missing. If only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said wistfully. Indeed, the house was too large for its two small residents. That night, clutching her favorite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. Chapter 6 Friends Then one day, while the girl sat sipping tea, a tiny apricot-colored planet appeared on the horizon. From the planet, another luma of the same color emerged. Do you two know each other? The girl asked the two lumas gleefully. Despite the girl's excitement, they seemed uneasy. The two lumas neither drew closer or backed away from each other. Instead, they just stared. Then one luma broke the silence. My mama! At once, the apricot luma parroted back. My mama! My mama! My mama! My mama! The two lumas began to dance around the girl frantically, and neither showed any sign of stopping. The girl was so charmed by this adorable scene that she couldn't help but laugh out loud. And that's when something very strange happened. Suddenly, more lumas began to pop out from the apricot planet. They were different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. My mama! My mama! My mama! My mama! My mama! The sight of all the shouting lumas only made the girl laugh harder. <laughs> what am I going to do with all these children? The lumas just stared blankly as she doubled over laughing. I guess we'll have to name each and every one of you. <laughs> Tomorrow, once she had finished naming them all, she would begin moving all the lumas into her new house. And that should be it for today. Great job, Amber. Thank you. Mm -mm. Okay, so that was storybook time. <sighs> oh my gosh, your hands are so warm. You basically warmed up this controller. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cute. Okay. Oh no. Oh. I don't know, I just don't have that same excitement about tomorrow's character. Oh, we got a lot of crying emojis in the Aww. chat. Oh, Ambie's a very good reader. Like, uh, um, narrator. Storyteller. Very sweet. 
No, oh, thank you guys. Somebody said I like how she words it. That's very cute. Thanks, guys. See, Amber is the best Rosalina. My Rosalina yesterday was just weird. <laughs> I didn't get to hear you, Rosalina. Mm. Also, guys, the, um, the, whatever that name of the, the Turtles video is, uh, rendering. Like, I just cut parts out of it, so. By tomorrow, it should be more watchable. I guess. Freeze Flame Galaxy. Oh. Uh. Oh, I have to catch the penguin. I always do these out of order. Ding. Ah! When people said that, it was so sad. That's very sad. I had to catch the penguin. I still wish we had a Lucalina from Fernando. Had a what? Well, thank you guys for listening to my story. Oh wow, Luigi moves faster. Mm. Cool. Not bad, old man. With skating skills like that, you have a chance. Okay. Okie dokie, here we go. Booyah! Hmm. Ooh. Oh. Hey, you Gil. We will always appreciate and love you, my friend. Um, don't worry. Like, we're gonna. I mean, what's you get upset about? I don't know. It's you know, you can never. You're, you. We had know, fun looking at your game. We love looking at your game. Don't. I mean, we. You know, Luke and I have to. You know, we we're gonna appreciate as many. I mean, we we need all the members we can get to keep Kamen's Let's Plays on the air because it, it's very difficult. Um, we're only, Yu-Gi-Oh, we're only getting about, we had like a 35% decrease in ad revenue last year. So, I mean, yeah. we had to launch merchandise and we had to make the membership tiers and get those approved with That's YouTube. why we try to make every member <laughs> stream, every member select stream as special as we can. For the ultimate member, um, so, but, like, we really appreciate it. It doesn't diminish, like, what no. you guys do at all. Like, if we have more ultimate member streams, it just means we have more hype and more awesomeness all the time. Yeah, we can continue doing ultimate um, streams as long as we don't get 30. We will, if we get 30 ultimate members, we, then, then things are gonna be We will always crazy. keep doing ultimate streams, and we appreciate each and every one. We never, we don't want to, like, make it cut off or... Um, you know, like... Nope. And we already... We did your October, too, so... I mean, yeah. if you want to, you know, consider doing it for November, that's up to you, but... Uh, we did your September and your October one, and... Um, we enjoyed both of them. Each ones were unique and fun in their own way. Hey, great to see you. Um, Dana's uh -oh. Game Review says... Can you sing these following lyrics? I, hmm? I want to know, will you tell me? Uh, and you f sing the following lyrics. Is that like from? Is that Dana's game reviews? Thank you for the super chat. Is that from a uh, Bill Collins song? I wanna know. Will you show me? Yep. Wanna know what you feeling inside? Yeah, yeah, not too much of that. Okay, though. anyway, that's Phil is Collins. That, is that what the mm -hmm. lyrics are? Did I mm -hmm. get it right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You did. It's a good song now. It's gonna be stuck in my head the rest of the stream. Thank you. Ah, oh, wait, no. Oh. And Casey, don't forget to write down your request in the. Uh, uh, you have yeah. access to the ultimate um, community tab that only you can see. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Thank you so much, Casey, for being an ultimate hero today. We really appreciate it and. 
Um, uh, can't wait to see what your ultimate request is. Uh-uh. The story was cool from Rebecca. Uh... John does. Oh, Dana says, I did get the lyrics a tiny bit wrong, but thank you so much. Yeah, I knew what you were saying. Will you show me? Yeah, yeah no about full columns. <laughs> Dana's Game Review says, thank you. <laughs> no problem, Dana. Uh -oh. My voice is a little shot, but... So pretty. Oh, you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. Full column type. I love... Um... I didn't really know who Phil Collins was until I saw the Tarzan movie, and then I was like, man, I was like, I really like, I remember telling Luke, or I don't know who I told, but somebody, and I was like, I was like, I don't know why, but the music to this Disney film is so good. They, it's like they hired a band or something to do it. It was like, they sound so good, and then I, then years later I met Luke and I said, you know, I really like the music to the Tarzan movie, it's so good. And Luke's like, yeah, that's Phil Collins. I was like, it's who? And you're like, it's Phil Collins. And I was like, oh, you're like, he's a drummer. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I'm like, well, who sang it? And he's like, Phil Collins. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, he's the lead of the band. He composes the music. He sings Oh, it. no. And he's a drummer. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Sailor Venus says, I can sing. Cool. I like singing, too. Sailor Venus is also a singer. Oh, yeah. Sailor Venus likes singing. Oh, in the, the character, too? Yeah. I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be like an idol. Dana's Game Review says, who's excited for Halloween? Amari Harris says, me. Mm -hmm. And Alex says, me. Awesome. Yeah, from Tarzan. Yep. Thank you so much for the super chat, Dana. Uh oh. Mm. Oh. There we go. I made this a lot harder than it needs to be. Yep, I have that Tarzan song stuck in my head. Now. Da da da. Cool Shinji said, I knew Phil Collins by watching Tarzan film. Yeah. yeah. And this drummer in the chat says, I am a drummer too, with little drum emojis. Mm -hmm. Hey, I know another drummer that's watching the stream right now. Am I technically watching it though? <laughs> Luke is a drummer, time. also this drummer, so awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh. Chad says, Dean's Game Reviews, Halloween is my favorite holiday. And Aiden says, singing is great. I sing all the time. That's awesome, Aiden. Singing is fun. I like singing. I'm singing, and I'm in a stream, and I'm singing, I'm in a stream, and I'm singing. Ooh, that's pitchy. I was trying to be Elf from yeah, Elf. No, no, I gathered that. It's just Super pitchy. Ooh, a Christmas cram. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so how am I gonna do this? Yikes. I might have bitten off more than this I could do. says, nice. Did you watch the Brave Princess movie? Definitely. No way! Nine Tails Yoshi says, I know Phil Collins from Brother Bear. How in the world did he? I I skipped all that stuff. I did a shortcut. Um, I did watch Princess and the Frog movie. It was pretty cute, and I like the jazz music in it. Dana's game review says, "I'm Buddy the Elf. What's your favorite color?" Yeah, Buddy the Elf. If it's raining where you guys are, you can start singing, singing in the rain. Ah. Uh. No, no, can't be. Ah, I can't copyright. do copyright. Yep.
Thanks, Chando. Chando says nice elf reference there. Yay! Funny Fish says, I like dancing. Dancing makes me smile. Awesome, Funny Fish. Um, did you watch? I did watch Brave, and I have seen The Princess and the Frog. Oh. Let's go to Okay, wife, are you telling the story? I'm confused. I keep thinking you're doing the stuff. The story stuff. Sorry. Huh? Um. Oh, I was reading the story a little bit ago. Yeah. I read the story, Amare. Um. And. Um, I'm not, um, but not anymore. I was just part, of, that was like a storybook part of the game. Um, and it was about Rosalina. And, um, it was just like written in the game. So, I mean, I didn't write the story or anything, but the game wrote it. But I just like to read this story. Like, I was pretending I was Rosalina reading it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I, I was pretending I was Rosalina's voice. So yeah, like, um, uh, Amari and anybody watching, like, I didn't used to really do a lot of character voices, but then Luke kind of got me into, like, pretending I'm different characters when I'm playing a game, so. She's a pretty voice. So pretty I would change, yeah, sometimes, like, when you hear me do a different voice, that is B, that is B, that is, that is B, that is me, um, but I'm just, like, morphing my voice to try to pretend to be somebody else, if that makes sense. So yeah, I did the little star starlight voices and stuff. But my throat is a little scratchy right now, so when I do the voices, it's a little scratched up. Um, if anybody who's new, if you guys want to see us like do a lot of voices, we did the Ace Attorney series trilogy, and we did like all the voices for that. Like we voiced all the characters. And we have an Ace Attorney T-shirt now. <laughs> and we, I, I got to be like evil like I did all the girl voices and Luke got to do the guy voices so I got to voice Maya who's um, Ace Attorney's assistant but I also got to be a lot of like well I got to be regular people but I also got to be some evil people evil ladies which was fun so I had fun with that yep you could tell that do, 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 do. Um. Oh, no, no, no. But Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. But Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. The Casey wanted to... I, I, People donate what they want to donate, and we're very thankful for that. Mm -hmm. they, they do it to make us happy and make people in the stream hyped and to support the channel. Everything that people donate goes to keeping the videos going. It goes right into the channel. It goes right into the channel so we can keep going on all the, you know, the costs of running the channel, all the internet and the business taxes and everything. So, like, everything that people do... T-shirts. Like, if Casey donated, everything. he did the regular membership and then he did another membership and then he went up to ultimate all of that went into everything that keeps the channel going so like even when we have some you know some people just we had an ultimate member stream earlier today and we had an ultimate member um and and you know our ultimate member for that stream already did his ultimate membership he didn't need to donate again but he did because people just like to donate and it it's just something really nice that they like to do and he got some slamming merch it's, it's just like, um, like even when you watch Twitch and stuff like that, like people just like, when the hype is, you know, when they're feeling hype, when the hype train is going, um, you know, people like to donate because it, 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 it helps people to feel like really happy on the stream. It helps to keep the channel going and so more videos can be made. So we appreciate everything like I, you know. YouTube revenue is going away. Very, very soon. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're, There's, they're making it very hard for yeah. streamers, so, you know, I really appreciate everything that everyone does, so. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm a lost. I don't know where to go. Oh. Wait, can I jump over this? Awesome said. 
Oh. Can I jump over that? Can I go over this? Let's try. Oh! Yes! Alright, they cheat. Oh, oh, ow! Woo! I cheated. I don't care. <laughs> ha ha! Skip to step. You've transformed into fire, Luigi. Shake and press Y to shoot fireballs. Oh, yes. Oh, Chad doesn't have Thanksgiving down there in the Philippines. Nope, okay. they don't have Thanksgiving in the Philippines. Oh, oh. Halloween is Chad's favorite. Yay, good for Chad. Ow. Uh-oh. So, do, yeah, do. let us... Can you can you do a tails voice? Um, I kind of did, I don't know. Like, I think tails is, sounds like a like very like young kind of voice. Oh, I can't do it right now. My voice is all scratchy. I it depends on the voice. Like I can do Rosalina because she has a lower voice, but I literally cannot do Peach right now because her voice is so high. I couldn't do like a bubbles from like Powerpuff Girls right now or any kind of high voice. Like Tails is a little bit higher. Like, hey Sonic. Oh no, that doesn't sound like Tails. It's pretty close. Um, Good enough. Yeah, there we go. That's my impression right now. Where's my voice the way it is? Uh oh. Let's not die. Oh. Bye bye. Uh oh. Oh. Oh! Do you watch Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman, the. What? Um, like the show? Was there a Wonder Woman show? Oh, did I watch, like, the movie? Mm hmm. Um, yeah, I saw the movie. I really liked it. The sequel hasn't come out yet. They've delayed it. Oh, the that's... No! The only thing I didn't like about the movie was... Like... The the guy... I don't know if... He's not Lord of Darkness, but... What is his name? The, Dark side? The bad guy in the move, in the Wonder Woman movie? The... Ares? Ares. Okay, I don't know why I was thinking Lord of Darkness. Ares. I didn't like how... He was very, like, lanky and, like, kind of looked kind of wimpy, like, under everything. Like, I thought he was going to be this huge buff guy. Like, like I don't know. I was thinking, like, Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of thing. Like, or just, like, you know, The Rock or somebody, like, with huge muscles and that's, like, really, like, intimidating. But, like, under, like, all his armor and stuff, he didn't look intimidating. So it was just, like... Whoa, this is so anticlimactic. Like, I was not expecting this. So that was the only thing I didn't like. That was one of the things I didn't like about the movie. Everything else about the movie I really liked. I just... The ending got weird. I feel like a lot of times DC movies, like, they don't know how to write a good ending. I don't know. Like, even Justice League, like, the ending, it was just like, what's going on with this? Like, I don't know. You get hyped, and then you get to the end, and it's just there. Oh no! Black. But um, I really do like Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. So I mean, I liked her in Justice League and stuff. I have faith in DC that they can make a good movie at some point. Aquaman was good. <sighs> yeah, I liked Aquaman. I like Shazam too. Shazam was pretty good. Captain Marvel. Refused to call him Shazam. Oh, yeah. Matanu is saying Aries, yeah. There was a Wonder Woman during the 70s, I think. Yeah, I know that. There, there was a Wonder oh, Woman yeah. show in the 70s. Uh, yeah, I don't Wonder think Amber would have liked 70s. that show. Probably not. <laughs> too okay. Mm. Oh, what the no? Okay. But real okay. The only anime that I really like is Hayao Miyazaki, Cowboy Bebop, Castlevania, and Voltron Legendary Defenders from Dana's Game Reviews. 
Those are some pretty cool ones. I wouldn't really call Voltron an anime though, but like the original Voltron is an anime, yes, but the Netflix show not so much. Well, that's because Voltron is based on a series called Go Lion. There we go. Oh, that was flashing. Oh. He's like, please, please don't hurt me anymore. Yeah, I love Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman also. She's... She looks just like Wonder Woman. Like, she fits the part perfectly. She looks like... Almost like the animated version of Wonder Woman. I couldn't picture a better version. I also like how she has a really cool accent. Because she doesn't sound like she's from, like, you know, anywhere around here, I guess. Or where I am from. I mean... Obviously, if I lived near the Middle East or Israel, then it probably would sound like people around me. But for me, being in America, she sounds like just like how they did like when they had, um, you know, Superman as uh, Dean Kane, where he was Japanese American. He looked like a little, you know, different, like he was from another world because he was uh, Japanese American. So to Western audiences, it looked kind of like he was from Krypton because he looked different. And I feel like the same with Gal Gadot, like her foreign accent makes her look well, Superman is an seem immigrant, very so. mysterious. Yeah, yeah and Superman is an immigrant, so Dean Cain being Superman totally makes sense since he's Japanese American. Exactly. Um, so I like that. Uh, I really like how Gal Gadot has the the uh, really cool accent and just really cool look to her so and she's just a very sweet person also like I like how she's married and she has kids and she's just a very sweet former soldier uh, lady oh wow I didn't even realize that oh, yeah so yeah she's just she's got a lot of ah! oh was I supposed to do that oh it's not good Whoa. Oh no. Dean Kane is cool. Yeah, I really like well I love I love um uh well no like people are like okay. Um no no no. I'm actually talking about like from interview I mean it's like just saying it for myself. Like, oh I like this because they're foreign. Um uh it actually was part of the reason they were cast. Like Dean Cain in interviews with people and stuff like that, they actually said one of the reasons he was cast as Superman was because he had this like otherworldly look to him, to mm -hmm. Western audiences. Yep. So it's not just me saying it; it's the actual like uh, the people that, that cast him. So that's I feel like uh, special features from Lois and Clark. Yeah. So I feel like it's the same thing with Gal Gadot, like to. Maybe if you lived in the Middle East and you were around people with that kind of accent, um, it probably wouldn't sound that foreign, but to Western audiences, like, since, you know, the films are really big in America, it sounds like she could be from Themyscira. Like, nobody has any idea where she's from, you know? She doesn't sound like she's from American. You know, she doesn't have an American accent, so... Doesn't have a Western accent. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not trying to be weird, but I... It kind of came across like that. You're mm -hmm. weird all the time, Amber. Whoa! Oh, yeah, she was a former Israeli soldier. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Yep. Superman's immigration story was... Okay. That's cool, Alexander. Oh. Let's go. It's, you're fine, Yu-Gi-Oh. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Oh! Oh, no. Feeling hot, hot, hot. It says, I wish Casey a good ultimate hero journey. Did you watch Frozen and Frozen 2? I watched Frozen. Nope. Um, I don't remember if I watched Frozen. I haven't watched Frozen 2. Nope. I watched Frozen, but it was okay. Amber saw it. I have not. Honestly... And I never will. Oh. Yeah, I explained, Luke, the entire plot of Frozen. 
Yep. After I came home, but then now Frozen, the plot is kind of how different than I remember it. Oh. So I don't know. That's another story for another. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I can cheese the game. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Nope, I can't get out. Oh. oh I made a made a big mistake here. Could, could Amber oh. then talk about Joker Wars tonight? I she don't know, know anything, anything about, about it. it. I don't even know what Joker Wars is, so I probably couldn't. But thank you for asking, Fernando. Oh, no. Lucas thinks he wants to say, so... Um, but thank you, Fernando. Um, I've, I've read all the comics and the Yeah. Lucas, Lucas stuff in his head he's gonna say, but when you have a headache, you can't really think of what you're gonna... You can't recall oh. all the things you were gonna talk about because your head hurts, so it's better to just wait until you feel better to actually talk about it. So Luke will have to just move it to another it's, day. It's one thing if I was just streaming a game. Like, I'm streaming a game right now, but... Like, I'm not thinking about anything. Super it's okay, I won't sing the song. <laughs> I won't oh! sing the song. Nice. I, d I don't... I don't... I'm not gonna say my opinion of Frozen. It's... It has nice... It has... You know, it's... It's okay. Tangle's better. <clears throat> I don't know how to do a Batwoman accent. I don't... I don't even know if I've seen a cur an animated show with Batwoman in it. The only show that I know that Batwoman was in was Bad Blood, but I only saw Luke's rendition of it where Batwoman was Rodimus. So I don't know. <laughs> mm, the best version. <laughs> All I can remember about Batwoman is, out of the way, Rodimus. <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard for me to like think of a Batwoman accent because all I think about is <laughs> is Optimus saying, out of the way, Rodimus. <laughs> so it's been, I don't know if I want to say uh, ru ruined for me, but. <laughs> fixed. I fixed Batwoman. I think I can remember a little bit about Batwoman. I think she talks like, like, Bruce, I'm Batwoman. Okay, that's really bad. So I don't know how Batwoman talks, honestly. Oh. That sounded really bad. Oh. So your answer to your question is no, I don't know how to do a Batwoman exit. Why is the camera all messed up? Oh. Okay. What about a story of seasons oh. tonight? The Harvest Moon stream. Oh, pray you could make. You guys, hey, Resident Links, how's it going? No. That that was bad. What is the worst Batman movie, you guys? Have seen? Batman Bad Blood. Said Batman and Robin. No, not like that. Batman Sorry. Bad, Batman Bad Blood, Hush, Batman and Robin, all bad. All bad. No good. Not good, not good, not good. I'm going to die. Oh. <laughs> Dana's game review says, A run for office, my platform will be no more frozen songs. <laughs> yeah. I'd vote for you. Ah! It, it would have been more somber, says Amy. Sorry, guys. I don't even... I don't even know. That woman talking like that sounds like it would be rated R. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what to say, guys. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what she sounds like. I don't. I think I saw that one bad blood thing. I don't remember very much. I can picture her talking to Bruce, like Bruce. Nope. I'm on the. I'm up here, and we're talking. We're we're on top of a building, and I'm acting really cool. Nope. That's what I thought she sounds she like. She doesn't sound voluptuous. She just oh. sounds like an angry, bratty, like, what's the word am I looking for? I sounds don't know entitled. What, I don't know what she sounds. You guys, I, no, your answer to your question, entitled, I cannot, I don't know lady. what, I don't know what Batwoman sounds like. I cannot, I recall watching Batman Bad Blood, but I don't know what she sounds like. Entitled rich lady, cousin of a rich guy. 
Alright, well, I still, I Pretty don't, much. I don't think I can do an entitled accent very well. With a lot of angst. Like, she's very spoiled. What? And then if you try to be the one what from bet? the television show, then just don't sound like you have any emotion or personality, and there you go. Okay. Yep. Shadow, who's doing that? Amber, is there anything on the ground? I love Catwoman from Resident Links. Amber. Shadow's stepping on plastic somewhere. It would be cool if you did Mario Kart Wii, but I am not an ultimate. That's very sweet, Aiden. Amber. On um, what? She's walking on plastic over there. You don't want her to get too comfortable. She's not very bright. She'll think it's a puppy pad. I heard her walking. Oh, that's weird. I already told you. Uh, I can't really do. I haven't really practiced any accents like that. I don't really know. If I really tried, I could probably do a Barbara Gordon accent from the animated series, but I've heard her a lot. If if I was gonna do a girl accent from Batman series, it would be either Catwoman from the animated series, or it would be um, Barbara Gordon. Because those are the two girls that I know how to do. I don't really know the modern movies very much. Mm. I okay. also know Wonder Woman from Justice League, and I know um, Shiera Hall. Shiera. Shiera from, uh, yeah. Uh, what is her name? Uh, Shiera uh, Hawk Girl. Hawk Girl, not Hawk Girl. <sighs> Oh, you're so sweet, Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. Hmm. Says, this is for Casey Woods. Keep the ultimate train rolling. Thank you for the super chat, Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. You're breathtaking. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yu-Gi-Oh. Aww. You're a sweetheart. Thank you so much, Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. And all of you guys are so important to us. Thank you so much. That's what happens when you cheat with Luigi. Die of karma. Uh. Mm. Oh, no, wait. I know oh, what God. you were saying. I know what you were saying, Alexander. Uh, sorry. It's because my my throat hurts right now, so my voice sounded really low and sounded weird. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel awkward. Okay. Ah. Why does it sound like somebody strangling Luigi? Ah. Oh. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, dun, Dana dun, dun, says, dun, dun. time to leave. My hotel room in Montana gets some gold American, good old American barbecue. You have, so the, have the loveliest of days or else. Just joking. Bye, Dana. Have a great night. You're breathtaking! <sighs> Wait, what was... I I miss a star. What is your favorite Batman actor? Mine is Kevin Conroy from Funny Fish. Oh, that's Luke's right. favorite is probably Kevin Conroy or Keaton. Cassie says Luigi is amazing. Okay, good night. Nine Tails, have a great night. Says, gotta give plasma in the morning. Peace out, K fam. Alright, good luck, uh, Nine Tails. Have a good night. Uh, don't like. I hope you have fun giving plasma. Ooh. I hope they give you lots of money for it. You can do. You can teach me how to do different voice impressions. Said okay. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, Wing, could you do a Jarvis voice? No. I don't know. Oh, Amber, can you stop those boulders? Oh yeah. Just one of them. Um. Oh, here we go. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Remember when I did the Urza voice? And it was made her voice like so low. I loved Urza. I'm too. Urza. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's, I'm Urza. That's Urza. Natsu, stop playing around. Ray. Yep. Come on, guys. Stop fighting. Not bad, old man. With skating skills like that, I am a penguin. Hello, penguin. Booyah. What does entitled mean? See you later, RM. Spoiled. Brat. Entitled means like... Conceited. Uh, selfish. Selfish, yeah. Used to getting whatever you want. Yeah, spoiled. And if you don't get it, then you kind of get upset, even though you didn't really deserve all that anyway. If someone who doesn't... Who, <laughs> who expects people to treat them differently because they're different than other people. That's, yeah, or, that's, if uh, you're, or if you're, in her, if you're rich, then it's like, or mm -hmm. if your dad is rich. No, that that has her, that has Kate pegged right there. Someone who expects people to treat her different, um, and like uh, she gets triggered when people don't. Like she, yeah. she's very demanding of things. Yeah, she doesn't there you work go. well demanding. with people. <clears throat> she's like my least favorite Bat family member. She's just irritating. Um, she kind of reminds me of, she's like a, a female version of Damien, so that right there oh, wow. is just, yeah. Eep. Yeah. But, but Damien can get away with it because Damien's a little kid, so she yeah. acts like a little kid. That's the thing. That's the thing, yeah. That's the thing, when you have somebody who acts the same age as somebody who's like, right. that young, and yeah. they're like, I don't know how old, in their 30s or something. It's yeah, like, she's supposed to be her 30s. Mm -hmm. like, you would think, and it's funny because Aww. Damien at some point would grow up, but... No, Damien, Damien went backwards. Damien's a brat again. Oh, that's Dam too bad. Damien... I thought Damien was growing up because he was around Nightwing. Well, stuff happened to Nightwing. But also, Night, um, Damien, ret those stories. Damien was given a best friend, but then Bendis, who came into DC a couple years ago, basically retconned the friendship between Superboy and Damien. So Damien Aww. now is kind of like a villain again. He's basically, he's Ra's al Ghul Light. Ow. And people are kind of upset about it, but at the same time, because of Damien's departure, now you have Tim Drake is back. So I mean, is it really a loss that Damien's gone? Not so much. Because now we have Tim again. Aww. And people like Tim more, so I mean, it's not really a lose. Unless you're a Damien fan. Don't tell me you forgot where the secret star is. Yep. We forgot where it is, OH! Oh no! I know where it is. I think it's up this way. Yep! Hello! Sailor Venus, huh. how's it going? Huh. Says, at least I have a change of heart. Aww, you're so sweet. Yep, definitely, you go. That's all you can do. Look at me. I got a little upset on that uh, Tomb Raider stream, and I, I have a change of heart. So, see? That's all we can do as human beings is just try our best. That shows what we're human, though. Like, some people that act like they're perfect all the time... They're not really human, they're, you know, they're kind of like, mm. some people that act like they have everything together are all like uppity and stuff, and, you know, I like people better that show that they're human, like you and me and everyone hanging out in the chat, uh -oh. so I, I think being human is the best. I'm supposed to be a lot. The best kind of person is an, a person that's just trying their best and just doing the Darn best it! What? Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh, weird. It's not dead. It's not dead! Oh my gosh, it's not dead! Uh, 
Hey, Cammy. Yep, everyone is happy to have you here. Oh, Alexander nice. says, I am a human. Awesome. Human raised by humans. Hello, Cammy. How's what? it going? What are you doing? I... Just um, Luigi, Yukio, is Sailor Venus? Hello, Sad. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, for the. It'd be so easy to do this without a headache. Great to see you guys. Hey, Ruben. Hey, Alex. Hello, everybody. Hey, Barbara. Uh oh. Oh, nuts. Cammy says, I'm hanging in there. Virtual hugs, Cammy. We hope you're having a great day. And uh, we're definitely keeping you in our thoughts and prayers, Cammy, about everything. And we hope everyone's having a great night tonight. And um, yeah, we're happy to have all of you guys here. Hello, thanks, Cassie. This is wonderful. Uh, yeah, um, friends, Key Wings, doing. We're doing great, Cassie. Ah. How are you doing today? Oh no. No. Come on. Thank you, sweetie. No, just let it go by. Let it go by. Oh, why wouldn't it let me just shortcut? Oh, never mind. I can just get the fire power up here. I thought I had to keep it for whatever reason. You're fine. <gasps> What? No! Sorry, I didn't hold up so much. Oh my gosh. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! says, Amber, which baseball game do you like? Super Mario Mega Baseball or the Japanese baseball game? I wish I had more fun with the Japanese I like the Japanese one, um, yu gi -Oh. I like that one a lot. And I like how it had anime characters, and um, I, I laughed a lot. I liked how it was. I kind of liked how it was all in Japanese, so I didn't. So it made it more of a challenge to try to figure out what I was doing. I was so. kind of bummed that, like, you can let that go. I mean, let it go. Um, that they didn't. They introduced like this really cool anime shoot, but it's it's not real. Huh? Like that really cool anime intro, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna go look for that cool show to watch. It's not real? Nope. It was made so just for the game. made the characters for the game? Mm-hmm. Wow. I thought it was like an anime. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, almost. Nope, not good enough. Oh, no, we love that game. Hey, Night Ranger, how's it going? Oh. Awesome. Oh, Cammy says, I honestly, I'm kind of struggling. I got two jobs declined me, and I don't think I'm gonna land this next interview. Little crying face. Cammy, virtual hugs. Do your best to persevere, Cammy. We will keep you. I will make sure to pray for you, Cammy. You're wonderful. Uh -oh. oh, thank you, Steph. Uh, Steven says, you guys are awesome, wonderful, delightful, spectacular people. Thank you so much. No, you're breathtaking, Steven. Thank you so much. And so, just definitely remember to give Cammy a little virtual hug and keep her in your thoughts and prayers, guys and gals. Oh no. 
No, no, no. Do something about the bat, please. Oh, yeah, sorry. Never mind, I got it. Sorry. It's okay. Simon says, think positive. Simon says, I try to think positive. Mm hmm. That's, that's why you're amazing, Simon. Simons is always cheering me up all the time, even when I'm, and I'm so thankful that, like, Simons did an awesome member select, well, Simons and Ruga, so thankful for you guys, did that awesome member select stream, and, um, wanted me to play Tomb Raider, which was very sweet of you, Simons, and I, I tried, but I kind of messed up Simons' stream, but he told me to be positive. And he never stopped believing in me and knowing I could do it, so I did it. Mm -hmm. So, Simons is just... Simons is Mr. Positive! That's why he's amazing. I'm sorry. I, I... And Simons and his grandpa and his whole family are just really positive people, and I really like that. And I really do believe that if you think positive, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. Hey, Avinash and Anand, or Avinash Anand. You okay? Oh no, not this. If you have the reverse card used on you, this look would be beautiful and then Amber would be handsome. Okay, from Jimmy Neutron. Alright, that's pretty cool, Alexander. <laughs> mm. Uh oh. Chad says, My niece loves Moana and Frozen, Fernando. Oh, Fernando says, I went from never seeing it to seeing it twice because my younger niece. Yeah. Mm hmm. Aw, virtual hugs, Cammy. I want to see Amber play Among Us on Twitch from Ruben. <laughs> or on YouTube. That'd be interesting to see. I wonder if Amber would reach. Yeah. What it, I don't know, but they said you have to have voice chat for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Is, I'm not supposed to be here. Mm. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no! Oh gosh! Oh, come on! Mm. Honey, can you. What? Yeah, I was. Sorry. I got him. I can't get back up. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. I can't get back up. Maybe hold the flower. There you go. <sighs> Sorry, honey. Oh! Oh, can I hold that? No. No, you can't. Dead. Oh. <sighs> That. Oh, Resident Links play it with you play it without voice chat? Okay, Resident Links. Maybe I'll maybe I'll have to try it. Thank you, Resident Links. Luke will have to help me learn how to do it on my phone because I don't know how to record stuff on my phone. You and I have the same um phone, so you can use the capture like phone capture thing I use for Power Rangers and uh, other mobile games that I've played. 
<gasps> oh, no, 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 let me out. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Hey, guys, there's a, um, I'm putting now in the merch section, there's a brand new uh, shirt that released, if you're interested. It's the, um, old school uh, G.I. Joe theme shirt, which is to uh, highlight our new G.I. Joe series, which starts tomorrow night. Whoa. Okay, thanks for letting me know, Resident Links. Oh, no. Oh gosh. You would love to see us play Dragon Ball Xenoverse on Switch? Says Cammy. Dragon Ball Xenoverse, I don't know what that is. It's a... Uh... Oh damn it, it's like um, Jump Force, but Dragon Ball. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Mm, I'll have to look into that game and see what it is. But, I mean... No, for Among Us and that game, Dragon Ball Z Universe and everything, like, I can't, like, promise anything, because I just promised the Ultimate Selects, but I can actually look at it and, I mean, I can look, look into it, see what it is online, and if enough people want it, I can try it at my best to do something on it. Dragon Ball Z Universe. It came out on the Switch a couple years ago. Oh, okay. Not again. It's okay. I've been talking. Guys, I'm gonna be quiet so I don't make you die. Sorry, I really failed at doing a Batwoman voice today. I don't care. It just shows. I'm more of a fan of Catwoman and uh, Batgirl, so I don't really That's know fine. how to do Batwoman voice. Actually, you know what? No, what? Okay, there we go. We're just gonna skip all this. There we go. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yeah, it's not letting me hold it. Yeah, it's not gonna let you hold it, honey. It's okay. Yeah, it's not letting me hold it. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah. Wait, what? Oh no! Uh... Huh? Oh, it's a gravity thing. Oh my gosh, okay. Whoa. I suppose that makes sense. No, I don't want that. <gasps> no, 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 no. Uh... Oh boy. Oh! Okay. Where exactly is this taking us? Oh my gosh, come on! Oh, you can hold that, honey. Oops. No big. I'm out of there. You can go back home. You're talking. Whatever. I don't. I just like to tell people I'm here so they know. So they know you're here? Uh oh. No, let me get sucked up in the tornado, please. Come on. Come on. Come on, walk this way. Thank you. No, oh, there we go. Okay. Uh oh. So I think basically I just have to ride the tornadoes. Yeah, I remember this. I have to ride the tornadoes. Ah! Whoa, this looks crazy. It is. No, 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 no! Okay. No, no, no. What? Okay, you Mr. Turboman says I just came up with my next stream choice. I'll let you guys know at the end of the stream. Awesome! For November? Because we have his... Oh wait, no, we have his September one we have to do. Mm, okay, Mr. Turbo Man, Mr. Turbo Man, we'll be, we'll be happy, we'll be glad to know what it is at the end of the stream. Thank you so much for being an awesome ultimate member, you Mr. Turbo Man. Uh, he wants um Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I mean, you can change your one. It's just yeah, you can always change it as well. Like mm -hmm. I mean, and uh, Cammy says it, the Xenoverse game is very fun, and you can you get to be a hero. 
Awesome, Cammy. Well, thanks for letting me know about it, and I hope you're having a great night tonight, my friend. And, um, Ruben says, what is everyone's favorite color in Among Us? And... Oh, no. Are you going to be playing Spikman 3 Demo, Amber? I don't know. I forgot when it comes out, honestly. Um, it's already on. Oh, well, maybe I could play it. I haven't really played a lot of, like, games like that on my channel, because... Usually I just do community streams, or I've been doing Assassin's Creed or indie games. I don't... I'm kind of nervous to play, like, I'd be nervous to play like game like this on my channel, because I'd be nervous that people would not want to watch me. But maybe I could do a demo. Maybe I... Yeah, it's a possibility, Brandon. Thank you for letting me know. I'll, I'll definitely think about it. Mm. I'm sorry about you guys. Sorry about your headache, Kongo. Okay. Why don't you go to sleep? I can finish the stream. You have a headache. So? Mm, it's past your bedtime. But you won't, you won't get to tuck you in. Well, I won't get to tuck you in, but I'll see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll come and wake you up later. But you don't like that. For what? Yeah, hug time? I don't know. Mm. Luke woke me up, like, the other day and talked to me, and he said that I hugged him, and I was, like, talking to him about the t-shirts, and then when I woke up this morning, I was like, ah, I was just talking about the Tomb Raider stream, and I was, I was like, oh, man, I got so stressed about him, and I was just like, and then Luke was like, oh, what, you already talked about that, you're like, I already woke you up and talked to you about it this morning, and then I was like, you did? It's like, yeah, we had a whole conversation about the t-shirts and everything, and I was like, we did? So Luke kind of talked to me while I was like half asleep, I guess. Yeah. Apparently sleeping me is a lot nicer than regular me, because I was stressing about groceries and stuff this morning, and probably being Luke nuts as usual. And he's like, you were so sweet to me when I woke you up in the middle of the night. Mm. Why don't you go to sleep and take your medicine and go to sleep. I got the rest of the stream. I'm almost done with this world and then I've got the Bowser world. Your arm is squishy. Mm. Don't get too comfortable. Okay, and off I go. All right, so whoa, okay. The cuddly K wings, lol. Amber yeah. likes snuggles when she's feeling me. I like hugging looks are. Right. Do tacos tomorrow. Taco Monday. Most. No. No, 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 no. I guess, I don't know if this works for every girl, but, I don't know, but, like, when, when Luke and I were just first dating when we first went to the theater, I, like, I don't know why, but I must have really liked him a lot, so I kept, like, accidentally on purpose rubbing my little arm up against his while we were sitting next to each other in the theater. Every time, like, I touched his arm on mine, I would, like, start to get, like, tingles all over. <laughs> so weird. I know. Usually it's, like, the other way around. The guy is, like, trying to put his arm around the girl. I didn't try to put my arm around you, but it was, like, I... It was, like, every time I touched my arm against yours, I felt electricity. I do have a lot of iron in me, so <laughs> I it. I meant in a good way, not like I didn't I get shocked, shocked all the time. Well, maybe that's what I was feeling, and that whole time I thought it was a sign that we were, that it was like love, but maybe really it was like iron. Yeah. <laughs> it was extra iron in your blood. That's the whole reason we're married, because you have iron in your blood. Shocking, I know. You know <laughs> and I thought it was a sign. Honey, that hurts. Don't, don't scrunch my arm like that. It, it doesn't fold like, you know, plastic. It 
Ow. Flesh. Ow. I'm sorry. Are you? Are you really? Audio. Whoa! My favorite color is orange from Aiden. Fernando's favorite color is blue. No! Ruben says blue and lime are my favorite colors of Among Us colors. Hmm. Among Us sounds interesting. I don't think G.I. Joe is going to be a very long series. I think 10 episodes. Crash is going to end up being 15 episodes, oh, yeah. I think. Although we're not doing the bonus levels because we're not going to get to the bonus levels. We're finishing up the fast food world, so that means there's one world left after that. So you're looking at about 15 episodes of Crash. But I just, I don't know, that game has crushed my spirit so much. Wait, that was my bra moment? I don't know what that means. Bro? Bro, I don't know. It's a meme. Okay. It's kind of like, it can mean multiple things, like facepalm or cringe or all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Chad says... Amber, is this love? And Luke says, no, it's iron. <laughs> iron deficiency. Or not over... What is, not iron deficiency. What do they, what do they call it? Because I get... Amber actually has to plug things yeah. in the electrical outlet. Luke has, like, extra iron in his blood or something. I get shocked every time. So, like, he has me metal in his blood, so it's like... If he tries to plug anything in the wall, he'll get shocked, so... And you can see the spark. It's big. Yeah, I have seen it. And, like, so whenever Luke needs... To to plug something in, he has me plug it in. I mean, I can plug it in. But... Shocking. I, I'm lucky I've never come mm -hmm. across Mag Magneto or he could, like, strip the metal from me. K-Wing is so romantic. K-Wife said it was like magic. Luke says, no, it's just iron in his blood. LOL. From Simon's. Yeah, pretty much. I'm terrible at romance. I feel like it's just a coincidence or some kind of... Luke is like one of those anime characters that accidentally gets close to fall in love with him. Yep. Because none of what Luke did, I don't think he did on purpose or it didn't even happen normally. Like, basically Luke, Luke recited a lot of 80s and 90s like lines from movies <laughs> and shows and animes and I hadn't seen any of them because I didn't have TV. So, like, I thought Luke was always coming up with witty and ingenious remarks on his own. And then later on, when Luke started showing me some of his favorite movies and TV shows, I was like, wow, that guy stole that line from you. <laughs> and Luke was like, yep. yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, Sailor Venus says love is war, and that means lots of gameplay. Oh, no. Oh, thanks, Fernando. Those K wings are so romantic. Darn it! I'm Mr. Turbo's says, My choice is a different Nickelodeon game, a more recent release, or technically a re release. Rehydrated. Get the hint? Nope. Well, we can't do Nicktoons Racing, so just so you know. Mm. That's too. We can't do anything with tunes in the title. Because uh, we could risk our entire channel getting flagged as 4K IDS. So Nickelodeon games are kind of out. Yeah. Uh, we can't do Ben 10, like certain Cartoon Network properties, certain Nickelodeon things. <laughs> Chad says, so the lightning is more than just the K-Wings trademark. It's in these iron and blood. Yeah, I see a lot of sparks lately. Or like always. So, I mean... Uh, Lightning, I figured, oh, it's kind of good to have. I don't understand this. Ha, Luke said cringe. Ha, he got cringed when he played Fortnite. Luke is trying to sing trending songs and wear supreme Gucci clothes. Nope. Luke is just like me. <laughs> I don't wear Gucci ha, clothes. Amber trolled your relationship, Luke. Yeah, she tends to do that. What does that mean? Yeah, um, just a reminder to all Ultimates, um, Nickelodeon uh, characters, Cartoon Network characters, off-limits um, for Ultimate Selects because we can't do anything that's... We have a lawyer that constantly goes over our channel every month to make sure that we're um, not in any danger of COPPA like, slamming us with a... or the FTC sending us a letter suing us. Um, since we told them we rebranded last year, um, we... Are not going to do anything that targets kids. 
Mario is general audience. Sonic is not. Um, you know. Let me see. Will I feel if I put your... What Let me you... see if I can feel electricity. Yeah, kind of. Okay. That's weird. I can kind of feel electricity when I put my arm in your ears. That's nice. So are you okay doing tacos tomorrow? I would really like yeah. tacos tomorrow. If not, I'll order Taco Bell. But I, I... Love is a battlefield played at Comic-Con when I was... That was a great anime. Amber and I liked that anime. That was fun. Funny Fish says, the plug in my AC is in my house. When you plug something into that plug, it sparks electricity so close to the plug that you have to be really careful. Ooh, yeah, that sounds dangerous. When I've plugged things in, I've made the electricity go out. There's like a loud popping noise, and then we have to go mess with the, the um, what do they call that thing in the basement? <laughs> Uh, what do you call that thing? The circuit breaker? Yeah, the breaker. Oh, to mess with the breaker. Yeah. So, basically. even when I was, like, a teenager and stuff like that, my dad really wouldn't have me plug in things very much. And I plugged in his computer once. Oops. Pop! <laughs> basically, Lucas Pal Palpatine. Well, I, you know, Palpatine, or maybe I was, like, an X-Man or something like that. I don't know how it happened. I don't know what I ate that gave me so much, like, iron in my blood. I had to do something. I really want to see K-Wing do Double May Cry 3. From Ruben. Mm. Maybe on Halloween. I don't understand how I trolled your relationship. I don't get it. Amber trolled your relationship. Dang it! I don't understand what that means. I don't know, sweetie. How did I troll it? I don't know. How did you troll it? Oh. Okay, that's fine. I mean, yeah, the thought did occur Darn to me, it. like, years later when I finally realized that a lot of the stuff that I kind of, like, thought Luke was the best thing since sliced bread, then I found out years later that he took all the lines from some movies. Dang it! Part of me started to have this freak out moment where I was like, oh Con my artist. gosh, everything I know is a lie. But, I mean, you were still cute, so it's kind of worked You were out. cute because you were like so innocent to like all kinds of stuff, so I just kept going. It's funny. It's like... Why didn't you tell me though? <laughs> oh, you were just going in for the kill. Yep, I liked Hook, you. Line and, I was... and sinker. You were like, no, I'm reeling her Hook, in. Hooked on target. Red five going. Yeah. Red five standing by. That's right. <laughs> Luke, you switched off your targeting computer. What's wrong? It's all right. She doesn't have TV. Yep. <laughs> She'll Luke. never know. Until you show me all the movies. Later. As you wish. I thought you made up all those lines on the spot. I'm not that clever. Ooh. That's what I thought, though. Yeah, well. Fooled you. Good times. Dang it! Your people are really getting on my nerves. Fuck you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Cool, great to see you guys. Fernando, Joseph West, Amy, and Alex, and everybody, and Bryce coming in. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. All right, so where's the last piece? Where is the last piece? Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where, 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 where? Amber, if you can rub a balloon on something rubber, you could bend water. What? Okay, that sounds interesting. Mm. Oh, okay. He said I was going to choose SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. I guess I might not have that choice after all. Yeah, we're sorry, man. That's, uh... Sorry. We can't. You Mr. Turbo Man. We didn't was... we didn't look at certain games this year because we're not allowed to. Like it What's been happening with YouTubers is the FTC like sends you a notice in the mail and they sue you. 
Um, they say you're in violation and lawsuit. And yeah. Can't do it. <clears throat> we're we're trying to be good because technically, like some of the games that even we have on this channel, like they could hit us with like thousand dollars in lawsuits for the Disney Infinity stuff. They haven't though because our lawyer made an argument that our stuff was two adults uh, playing like a fighting game. But like most of our Disney Infinity like toy box videos and other things like that, they were flagged a long time ago and stripped of the revenue. But, like, you know, we got to keep our memberships and all this other stuff. It's an ongoing battle, and we have to... It's very sweet you wanted to play very, very, SpongeBob, Very, very, very stressful. We like SpongeBob, but we unfortunately, like Nickelodeon told the FTC that SpongeBob is a kids cartoon. It's because of what Nickelodeon said. If they would have yep. said it was for all ages, yep. we would be able to cover it. But they did not. It's the same as when I try to play Splatoon on my channel. I can't really play Where it anymore. Where in the world is the last... Thank you. So sorry about oh. that, Mr. Turbo Man. Yes. Is Luke feeling better now? Maybe a tiny bit? I don't know. He still... Really. He still has that ache, though, like, but... Of course I have a headache. But it... You know, I'm playing the game. It's not the same as... Okay, there it is. Mm. Hey, David says, I have an announcement. Got a new puppy today. Congratulations on the puppy. Kaya, and she's a pit bull. Cool. Well, congratulations on your new puppy, David. Hugs. And Mr. Turboman says, I understand. Looking forward to more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Yep. Oh, so sorry about that. Oh gosh. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I have to. Oh. Kill these fools. That's very cool. You gifts that I made kings in the baseball game with ranks from A to S. That's with awesome. With your faces. Oh. That's really so neat. Cute. Don't know how to do that, so that's <laughs> pretty cool. You were able to do that. The heck? What the heck is that? Uh, no, there's not a way to fight the FTC anymore. No. Because they already voted on it. That's it's what, law. That's what we were trying to do for the last several years, is was try to get people to not vote on it, but unfortunately, they are, they, um, it's not a vote that the American people had. It was Congress. It was Congress. Nobody, it wasn't even on the ballot. It was, um, you know, we're going to decide for you. Yeah, we tried to ask people to write their senators and sign the petition, but nobody seemed to care. Um, a lot of, I mean, because of Luke, though, it's a lot better than it was, because Luke actually, Luke talked to, like, over 500 YouTubers to try to, like, get it uh, better than it was. Right now, you can play e-games. Some. Some e-games. If it wasn't for Luke and, and some lawyers that went to Washington. I didn't go to Washington. Well, I couldn't. I know, but there were some lawyers that went, went to Washington and Luke contacted all, spent hours a day for months contacting all these different YouTubers to try to get them to you know, get people to sign the petition um, without all Luke's help for that. A lot of YouTubers didn't even seem to care. Um, you know, then you're able to see your favorite YouTubers, probably more subscribers than us, play Mario and stuff, and because of Luke and some other YouTubers, they're, you know, big YouTubers are able to play Mario. But... And if those lawyers didn't go, Minecraft and Fortnite would have been in big trouble. Roblox is kind of like a gray area, but not really. Um, because, you know, they had... The people that argued in favor of, you know, the ban, or not the ban, but the restrictions, they labeled Fortnite and Mario and Pokemon and all this other stuff as KIDS stuff, and the yeah. the YouTube lawyer and I think it was like three other YouTubers, like, um, got the FTC to reconsider certain things, and so Mario and like... I don't know, 30 games. So you guys are lucky you're still able to play things like Minecraft. Yep, because Mario and Minecraft and Mario, Fortnite were all Fortnite, on, all considered were, originally as kids games. They were going to be banned, so... Yep. Well, not banned, they were going to be restricted. Restricted, so... the f Which means yeah. big trouble. So, I mean, the only way that you can find it is if each of you guys watching, you know, that... It's voting age or whatever. We'll let you guys know when the next battle is. The next battle is after the whole virus thing. They're meeting again to 
the Democrats want to push something called, um, oh, what's that word? Uh, kid, no, 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 no. Kid attractive. And what kid attractive means, if it's a, uh, what they consider a kid property, if the thumbnail or if the game looks like it's targeted, not just based on, even if it's considered general audience, they can sue you. So, the Democrats want to do this thing that is going to hurt, like, tons of businesses and YouTubers and streamers and stuff like that. So, um, the YouTube guy let me know, who's an independent, like, when they're going to go and they're going to meet about this, and I might actually have to go to Congress this time. Because I'm going to have to fight this hard, because well, they're wrong. Yeah, Mata Nui says that's something... Half the planet could actually sign it, but the, they, it wouldn't really matter because the fatal flaws petitions can be ignored. Yeah, the the That's petitions true. can be ignored. That's why you have to you have to ta contact you your representatives. Go. It's the thing is like so many YouTubers. Because what they're honestly, what they're not telling you about this is like companies like uh, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and Disney. They have special. Uh, permission to to look at stuff and make a profit on it but they're preventing smaller companies and youtubers and stuff from getting those same benefits you simply think of it like this like very bad a lot of really popular youtubers that you watch like probably play mario but then they also play call of duty etc mm -hmm. so then they were probably thinking oh no worries no because nintendo and other people have labeled uh in the past mario as a kids property it's only thanks to people like reggie and some other people for saying that Mario was for is all ages. For all ages, exactly. exactly. So, but like when, basically, uh -oh. oh darn it! No, I'm gonna die. But I'm, like, gonna die. I'm gonna oh, die. I'm gonna 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 die. Go, Luigi. Go. But can I just say my thought real quick? Yeah. Okay. So basically, some of the popular oh! YouTubers with millions of subscribers, etc. And I don't really want to go into this because the more we say that. If the word FTC and stuff, the more Trigger. we get flagged. Yeah. But basically, a lot of them were thinking, oh, I'll be fine because I play Mario and Call of Duty. Mm. But the problem was they're not fine because half of their videos are Mario, half of their Mario or Mario-like videos like that, E-rated, half of them are Call of Duty. So the problem is half their income is gone because all the Mario, all the, you know, Splatoon, whatever they played... That, that was labeled KID friendly was taken out of the search engine, which we don't get paid for that anymore. Like, people ask us to do Disney Infinity. Our Disney Infinity you know, videos got wiped. Not only do did they get wiped, but we actually get negative money. We get money taken from us because 30, of that. 35% of our income was taken we, away. We get like, money subtracted from our check because we had played Disney Infinity in the past. Well, no, they didn't. If well, they would have, they kind of do because they they take all our other videos out of the search engine. Well, yeah. So in a way, they're just track they're t subtracting money. Not only did they take away all our income we were making from Disney Infinity, but they're also subtracting money from any videos that we post now. So it's because they take it out of the search engine, which ultimately makes uh, it very difficult to find. Yeah. Which makes it subtracts from our income because yeah. it's, yeah. I get it. So now. the problem is that, you know, there, there's a lot of problems. I mean, <gasps> oh. you know, oh, oh, oh. You, you know, these YouTubers always want to look out for number one. They don't want to think about anyone else but themselves. But the problem is they shot themselves in the foot because they also play E rated games. They play every game. Game journalists cover every game, so what they did is they took half their own income away because they thought, oh, who cares, it doesn't affect me, but it did affect everyone, and that's what they didn't understand. So, I mean... Yeah, pretty much. What we should have done is have YouTubers look out for each other, and then we would have all stood together, but... Yeah, I liked how they said that it was a community, but it wasn't a community. There wasn't a community, because... There were, there were people that opted out of even, like, They talking. didn't even... Yeah, there were, there were YouTubers that Luke talked to literally for hours on their discords, and... They asked, wanted nothing to do with asked, it. They asked... He asked them to just say one thing and ask people to sign a petition. 
Tell me and, what games you play. Tell me what your audience is, because you know and, what your audience is. Blah, blah, blah. And then um, the YouTubers that he talked to that we have known in the past that have millions of subscribers. Because we've been on YouTube for a long time. These YouTubers said they did not want to get involved because they just wanted to play their games. They didn't want to worry and about one, it. And one of them said, well, we're working on our own thing. And then, then I noticed they, they made an announcement. They're like, well... We weren't able to get the ball rolling on our end. It's like, then you should have worked with me and this other group of people instead of... They're not... you. Uh, there's no unity. Like, everybody tries to do things their own way. Like, we already had things going. We had, uh, like, just, lawyers and okay. senators and lawmakers of, and all kinds of people you working. You know when I was on my Tomb Raider stream and talking, mm -hmm. people were talking about my Vegeta pride mm -hmm. with my Tomb Raider stream? That's how all YouTubers are. Yep. If you try to call a YouTuber and ask them to work together with other YouTubers What's in on it for something, me? they have so much pride that they don't want they don't want to be in a group of other YouTubers and they're like, well, who will be the top dog in this group? Like, that's all they think about. They can't even think about how... How will, how will this benefit me? They don't even think about, like, oh, can I take a minute to try to help somebody else online? No, Whoa. everything... Is a competition for them. Everything they have so much pride. You guys have no idea what it's like trying to work with YouTubers that have millions of subscribers. They they're so prideful. There's there's a few humble ones, but they're not gamers. I they're musicians. Any of them. I I know one musician that's really cool. Boom, boom, boom. They're Ew. just they're very prideful, and there's a lot of YouTubers <laughs> that could have done a lot to help. Uh, solve the FTC thing, and they yep. just they so, didn't want to. What we'll do, they didn't feel we'll, like we'll it. let you guys know when the next thing is, and then how you can help is you can contact, especially if you're over the age of 18, you can actually reach out to your uh, state representatives and tell them what's going on and tell them what they need to vote on, like what the, you know, uh, that's, that's what you can do to help, because petitions don't do anything. You have to admit, like, this is affecting ah! everyone, even people with millions of subscribers. Yep. Even if they're not saying it's affecting them, it is. They're just able to hang on more because they have so much money that if 35% of their income gets taken away, even if 90% of their income got taken away, they'd be completely fine because they make so much money anyway. It doesn't they've even, got their merch stores, they've got their memberships. It literally doesn't even affect them. Like, they're making so much. Right, but, but the scary thing is, and I'm, I'm just going to let people know, uh, one of the things that the FTC is working on with YouTube that they've kind of like a little backroom deal, they found out about memberships, like the FTC did, and they're trying, at least some of the people who are in super in favor of, like, how COPPA still stands, they don't like the idea of YouTubers being able to earn tips on, quote, kids' games. So they're going to propose an amendment to their current COPPA thing for YouTubers to actually take away memberships. Or any type, that means you can't advertise your t-shirts, you can't do anything that would allow a, a younger person to click on something and purchase it. Like, say, they're going to find ways to, if this passes, like, their next rendition, they're totally going to screw people over, even well, basically, more. Basically, like, where we tell Because you they're saying it's illegal, um, the FTC is saying it's illegal to look at something that's considered a KIDS property and advertise or make any type of income off it because you're targeting little people. Which is not true. So basically, but. what they would do is... The only kind of games, basically, you would just have to play M anime games, anime and M-rated games. There's, there yeah, because be they nothing left. they won't be happy until all E-rated titles are are you know. They don't want people kids to games. be able to play Mario. Nope. Um, they don't want people to be able to play Fortnite, Dauntless, anything, Power, yep. any kind of Power Ranger game. But I've been I've been talking to the YouTube lawyer, and you know I know what's going on. I know the you know the politicians that are trying to push this um and stuff like that and thankfully because everybody is home right now it's not going to be top priority for like another year or two supposedly but yeah. i don't i don't trust politicians so i'm just preparing but now i'm just i'm that's why i'm trying to get a thing on twitch 15 hours on twitch so if, if you guys see me on twitch like feel free to come by um luke doesn't really have time because he's editing all the time but mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to try to stream 50... I have to stream 15 hours a week on there to try to get a...
partnership and like if I'm able to get a partnership and YouTube takes our partnership away here or destroys our channel. Well, I mean basically if they in theory Twitch. if they take away your um what's the word I'm looking for? Shoot. If they take away your um, ability to get memberships and they take away your ad revenue, then you're not really a partner anymore, even if the if the website says. Because yeah. if they're right now, they for people that have been hit by this that we know, they're still able to sell T-shirts and they still have like um, links where people can go to their Patreon or their whatever. Yeah. Um, so, but if if, uh, if this uh, TOS like passes, like YouTube has a current. TOS right now that says memberships are not allowed for channels that make KIDS content. It's there, but they're not enforcing it yet. But if you look, if you're a YouTube creator and you look at your um, your terms of service, you will see that one of the things for their COPPA agreement, which is not being enforced by the FTC right now, it's kind of being enforced by YouTube, but they say in clear lettering that they will take away your memberships, you have to your, your, your t-shirts, and... Get, a, get uh, over on this side, get over on I know. this side. I'm right there. Okay. So, it's already there in the language, so... Basically, like... Basically, like... It's... Okay, just basically, like, if you guys have ever watched the movie... Did or I do read the book Animal Farm, where they just keep taking right rights away from every animal one at a time, uh -oh. and each animal is completely fine with it because uh -oh. they're just, like... Oh, it doesn't affect me, so... And when it does affect you, that's when people are like, it's kind of too late. By the time it actually starts affecting you, they've already taken away every other gamer from the platform to the point where you have no one left to actually stand up for you. If we all stood together, like, we should have all stood together when... I mean, they've already done... They already went and deleted a bunch of gamers from YouTube. And nobody noticed. 2,000 people lost their jobs last year. Yeah, but even before that, Luke, there was a group of gamers that they deleted and nobody noticed because yep. everybody said it didn't affect me. Yep. Hey, it's you. That's it, Ouija. I'm going to stop you into space bits. Rawr. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. So, yeah, I mean... And that, that, the ga the group of gamers I'm talking about is FTC, or FTC, F FPS gamers were deleted. Oh yeah, I remember that. They went that. through and they made, when Congress went crazy and started saying that guns were evil, they started saying, well, anyone who plays a game with a gun in it is evil. Mm -hmm. And then they, they deleted channels. every channel, first person shooter channel. I Not think, every. They got a lot, a of, lot them. of them. They got a lot. And no one said anything because all the YouTubers just were like, "Oh, thank God, I still have my job." Those those uh, first person shooter channels were gone. Nobody said anything, and that what was, was that? that was 2018 or 2017. 20, yeah, yeah, that was the time when this all began because yep. I'm telling you, this was the beginning. Then they went through, and they deleted all like. You know, KID friendly. Now they're going through. They're deleting all people that play Mortal Kombat. No, that's that's YouTube. That's not FTC. FTC doesn't care about Mortal Kombat. Well, I can't keep track of it anymore. But it's, that's Google. They're just basically deleting one category. And they're not they're not deleting another. it because they can actually put ads well, on. Well, they can, but they're deleting the ability for creators, creators. to yeah. actually make it income. Which yep. The thing is that people don't understand. If you can't make it income at this then you obviously have to get a job that you're going to be doing all day to make an income. So you can't obviously, actually, yep. you can't have a spare moment to actually do this anymore because you're working nine to five at your other job and you're exhausted when yep. you get home. So if you're working yourself ragged at another job and then trying to do YouTube after that, basically you're going to quit either your job or YouTube, which makes no money, which, who are you going to quit? You're going to quit YouTube, obviously. Yeah. So what we've done after, like, uh, when we got heads up about stuff before the the bill was going to pass and last year and go active uh, January, um, we sat down, we hired a lawyer, we talked with them, and then they went over our entire channel. Well, as much as they could. They said we had too many videos and they were joking around with us. Like, if you're going to get sued by the FTC, it'll actually take them 50 years to sue you because you've got 7,000 videos. It would be impossible for one person to go through that like during a normal like work year or years. So they said you might 
he was trying to tell us, like, they might never ever come after you anyway because you'd be too much work. Like, they'll go after, like, an even bigger channel. But he said, just to be sure, though, he says, you need to rebrand. Um, you need to make sure that you focus on more age-appropriate games for the audience that we're targeting, which from now on is 13 yeah. through, uh, you know, college or adult. Um, but he says, you also don't want to play games that you're not going to make money on, so you need to stay away from the M-rated stuff. I mean, it's even like when I was going to school for, like, culinary and stuff, like, our income dropped a tremendous amount because I'm not here to run and advertise things and, you know, just, like, make little posts and, you Have know, that little amber a lot charm. of, a lot of a YouTube channel, it's not, there's so many aspects. Yep. There's the editing, there's the letting people know what's going on, advertising. There's the social media managers. Social media stuff. Yep. You have to do everything yourself. Ah! So without uh -oh. all those parts to it, you know, you can't... I mean... There's a lot of stuff involved. Like, if you... Basically, what I'm trying to say is, like... You know, when we first started YouTube, we used to have a lot of people being like, Oh my gosh, do you do this for a ah. job? They'd be like, I don't understand. Why don't you just do another job? It's like, if we did another job, if we did two or three jobs for our rent, what's the matter? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we know a lot of people in the Philippines and Japan and um, other places that got hit by COPPA too. And their argument was they tried to talk to the FTC and YouTube and say, well, I'm not even in the United States. This evil law, yeah. it like covers the entire world. Yeah, that's even though the it thing. takes place in the U.S. That's the thing is, this is completely. They're literally making laws for other countries. Um, mm -hmm. there was a guy that ran a puppet show with his family in the Middle East. Yep. And this guy literally was. I don't know if he was. I think he was in a very bad state before. Um, oh, it's you again. Oh, all right, Ouija, I'm gonna stomp you into space pits. Bad breath. But basically, he lived in a part of the Middle East where a lot of people in his town didn't have any job at all. Yep. And he was actually able to make a better life for his family. His whole family was involved in the puppet show. I actually saw vlogs of his kids and everything that were, like, yep. singing, and they had learned the puppets. They had made a business, their whole family. And he was begging the FTC, please don't do this. This is for my family. If you make this law, I will have to go back into the state I was in before. And they didn't care. They just made the law. I don't know what happened to the guy. His family lost. His entire family lost the business. He lost his channel. Everything was gone. And, and his family... But yeah, I mean, the, the things that we tried to do that uh, basically the senator said no to is... Um, when you look at certain games and properties and franchises... For television, you actually have to buy a license. So we proposed that, you know, the FTC and YouTube allow people to purchase licenses to sell and yeah, target kids. And the FTC said no. So you know, they, they're they not really playing ball with anybody. They're not open any provisions. They but just want to do more restrictions. My thing is, if the FTC says that it's wrong to target kids to sell things, mm -hmm. then how in the world is an ice cream truck guy not fired? How in the world is My Little Ponies not going to jail? They have special provisions. That's what I don't understand. Half the, half the properties of animation and all kinds of stuff on TV sells to kids all the time. Right, but there's... So that's what I don't understand. If... I mean, that's one of the biggest industries in the entire world is right, selling right to Right now, kids. this has to do with an internet thing that's basically from the 90s, so it's completely... It's so out of touch. Like, this is why you can't have rhinos and dinos around. You can't have people that don't understand. And But, like, half the cartoons on TV are selling things to kids. I know. I said there's a lot like, to it. Adults don't even buy anything exciting. Yeah, they do. I mean... It's Nerf or nothing. Like all these all Nerf the, or nothing. All these different like cool things, commercials you remember from the nineties and stuff, that was mm. all for kids. I'm just saying. Oh, not bad. I guess I chose the right guy to be my arch enemy. Wait, Ouija's your arch enemy? Ouija confirmed his arch enemy. At least you always put up a fight, Luigi. Unlike Mario. He's lame. It's too bad for you because my master plan is almost complete. Tough luck, Ouija. He said it. 
Bowser's nemesis is Luigi. All it's right, not Mario. So, yeah, you're right, guys. If we talk about this, then we do get distracted. I agree. So we'll try to focus on just beating Bowser. We did beat Bowser. But yeah, it's... um. You know, we we did fight it. No other YouTubers wanted to help us. And when the, when the next when the next fight comes, we're gonna get we're, like subscribers and other influencers. Honestly, involved, they're all. Oh, probably. what I was gonna say before is like. Keep it brief. Like, if this was not affecting uh, gamers that had millions of views, then PewDiePie would not have had to go and play Minecraft again. Yep. Because the whole reason he had to go play Minecraft again is because his views were visibly and his income was visibly dipping because of FTC and that is why he had to do it. The so, only reason that, yeah, because he had videos saying like a uh, nine-year-old and all this other stuff so he was So it. we are not the only ones affected. It nope. is affecting people with millions of views. They're just not saying anything because even though they're having a hard time paying off their mansion made of gold, they can still pay it. Uh-huh. Because they're just going to sell... Did you just sell, say mansion made of gold? They're selling a few of their Corvettes to pay for their mansion made of gold because, you know, it just works out for them. We have ascertained the location of your special one, Luigi. Take a look at the circle by your feet. And it's going to show you how many stars you need in order to uh, fight Bowser the last... Oh! The number represents the power stars you need... To reach the center of the universe. Oh! That number will be decrease as you get more stuff. And it will reach zero. The Comet Observatory will regain full power and fly as a starship once again. And then we will be able to reach the center of the universe. Oh wow, so I only need two more stars to actually beat the game. But I'm going to go through and do all the uh, galaxies. I mean, I'm not going to be able to 100% all the galaxies, but... Yeah, uh, that that company is rough. So just, you know, if you guys want to help us, just be on the lookout when next year... I'm pretty sure it's next year. Nothing's happening this year. But, um, you know, we're going to keep pushing memberships. We're going to keep pushing merchandise. And the image for the channel is going to keep looking like it's, you know, for older yeah, people. Yeah, for those people that don't have the ability to help, like, with memberships and... It's okay, like, we appreciate every view helps, like, every time you guys watch a video, it helps get our viewership up, like, you guys always help, just yeah. knowing that you guys still like watching our content really helps a lot, and, and like, we, know, we, we don't, appreciate everything. we don't dislike the really, you know, cool characters and cartoons, I mean, I love uh, animation and stuff like that. It's a shame that we can't do certain things anymore, but we, that's we the reason. We cannot risk it, like... Yeah. If, like, for instance, I'll explain, okay, so, okay, I'm just gonna give, uh, give an actual example. Just brief. So, so I was making zero dollars on my K-Wife channel, then, um, somebody gave me one donation, and I was able to get up to, like, f like, fifty dollars for that month, which was nice, but that was basically my donation. Then the next month I made, like, thirty, so that was more than twenty, so that was good. But then, like, after that, I kept I kept going and going and going and tried to get up. I was getting up past, like, 50 a month, and then I played Splatoon. As soon as I played Splatoon, my channel, what I was making, went down to, like, 10 after that. So they, they, they basically, all my work that I did, they put me down months, like, ago before I... So they took away months of work of what I yep. built my channel up to. Because Splatoon is considered so a KIDS property. I'm saying, for me, that's just an extra channel. Like, I obviously am not paying my rent with $20. But I'm just letting you guys know that if we're paying our rent with this channel and we play a KIDS property, they will, like, basically, what do you call it? They will, like... What do you call the thing where you, they will basically take money from us to the point where we cannot pay our rent? Like, they will take a huge percentage and basically, like, um, you know, make us up. Uh, they will punish us for yep. paying, play the game. So, even though you guys really want us to see one kid game, we cannot because we will be punished to the point where we will not be able to pay our rent. We will yep. not be able to pay our internet bill, and we will not be able, we will be in the van down by the river. We will not be able to stream. Jeep. So even though you guys really want us to play that one KID friendly game, 
maybe some rich YouTuber can sell one of their Corvettes to be able to play it for a fan, but we don't have extra Corvettes to sell. Like, we've already gone down to the line, so we cannot do it. Yep, they, they know him. So that that's just explaining, like, I cannot, <clears throat> you know, okay. even if there was a super uh... chat involved or a... Or a member thing to pay it, they might take away more money than the super chat was. Right, but that's why, honey, we have so that's what we have provisions. To we have things like set in stone for ultimates. Like it, it even says like um, ultimate uh, games oh, like uh, open to uh, you know because if it's if it's a certain thing, we have to say no to it, and then they have to choose again. Oh. Yeah, thank you so much for the super chat, E. Mr. Turboman says you guys are awesome no matter what you stream or play. Thank you so much, E. Mr. Turboman. Really appreciate it. Thank you. So yeah, the way that they're they're doing it, they're making it's very stressful because like, uh oh, and I don't like explaining it every time, but I always have to. Like, when I'm on my K Wife channel, people are like, "Why don't you play your style games anymore?" And, like, I just am going to start writing in a, on my about ses section, like, the uh, everything about what's going on, because I don't want to explain it anymore, you know? Because it's kind of, it's not fun to explain, but I appreciate you guys listening and wanting to, and caring about it, but, Wait, you know. Okay, golden shell goes this way. Yeah, so, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, we're going to continue to do what we do. Um, we're, we're in it for the long haul. We just have to change quite a bit, so. Um, but, I mean, the thing that we really have to change is people's perception, though, because all one, right, right now, one parent just has to, if they go to court and they tell, um, like, you know, a senator or FTC calls somebody for a witness against us, like, the mindset is still, they're using the term, like, when those people wrote us and they said, kid-friendly, I don't appreciate the thumbnails, I don't... All this other stuff with the girl's chest and um, that kind of stuff could get us in trouble because the the perception of the brand has to change um, so that those type of arguments don't end up in court if we were ever taken to court. Yeah, like we we have to change like what people think about us. Like. Yeah. So that's that's why it's like kind of K Wings Let's Plays is turning into the K Wings because we're trying to do everything we can and hopefully we have like another I mean, year or two we to... could even change the name of our channel you could technically change the name and call it the Kings. no that would that would kill the search engine thing we, we can't we can't I mean, change the name i mean i already did that on uh... much respect thank you chad i appreciate that man thanks all right let's do one more level and then call it a night so new topic guys that's just what's going on so we appreciate all the support and uh you know yeah, that's what we're, I really we're, appreciate. We're we're sticking around as best works. we can. All right, so I need to go back to the bedroom galaxy for one more star. And I actually have enough stars to finish the game tomorrow, but we're going to do that galaxy, which is the engine room, and then we're going to do the secret galaxy. So the finale for Luigi will be on uh I want to say by what's today? Monday? No. Today's Sunday still. So by like Wednesday or Thursday, Luigi will be done, and then we'll have another stream series to kind of replace this one. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'll, I'll figure it out. Should have... Where's the comet? Darn. Have a good night, Resident Links. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, hey, Brandon. Hey, Fernando. Have a good night, Resident Links. Hey, Mage Wolf. So yeah, that's why we get very careful about like in the chat, like, also kind of tense. Um, and like people are like, "Oh, you guys are being so." Well, I mean, like some of these people that have a lot more subscribers than us, you know, they might have some pull. Like, say, FTC try to ban them; they're so popular. I know, but we're we're moving on. Soon. But I'm just saying, like, we don't have anyone that would help us get reinstated if they banned our channel. No, we have a network that would fight for us, but at the same time, yeah. who's who's going to pay that four four hundred and or excuse me, forty two thousand, which was what they would charge us for our channel? Because yeah, like how would we pay that money? Because we don't have it. 
it's, I mean, at least it's not 42k per video, but we already have, like, it's a thousand a video, so if they, they hit, if they hit, like, 40 videos. And the thing is, like, they don't just charge you that, they also charge your network, so. Yeah. That's why our network almost dropped us when the whole FTC thing. Our network almost, yeah, the network did. I remember that. They were like, mm, eh, we're moving you to affiliate because we don't want to manage you anymore. I remember that conversation. That's why we're not just doing this for us, but also our network. So sometimes, like, when you guys see, like, deleted comments or deleted, like, if there's a person that's a younger audience member, you know, they can be deleted by not just us. Oh, yeah. Most most streams, like, uh, our network or YouTube erases the mm -hmm. comments. So Google, YouTube, and our network are also watching the chat. So... Yep. When we try to warn you guys not to put your ages in the chat, we're trying to say it for your sakes also because we might not even be the ones deleting you. Like, other people will. Yep. So, like, it's very serious, and we've tried to warn people, but... Super serious. People don't usually listen to us until it's too late. But... Yep. But that's why everybody's like, hey, we're all your chats. Our chats get erased our after chats, the live streams. Our chats are being erased, which is kind of a warning sign from YouTube, honestly. Yep. Which means they think that we have younger audience members, yep. which is not good. Because... It's about half and half. That's not a good sign for us. Like, they already are watching us. Like, yep. So, like, it's... Like, because, I mean, we don't have a say in it either. It's it's that or we could lose, like... The last time I spoke to Google, or a Google representative, they said, well, I mean, technically your channel is blah, blah, blah. So, in reality, we're supposed to remove your community page, we're supposed to remove your memberships. But they said, you guys are putting in an effort, um, and also, you do have an oppressive catalog of games that are T-rated, and, you know, there's not, like... The whole channel's not Disney Infinity or Lego or whatever. Honestly, but, oh yeah, so Luke was actually thinking about just making the Disney Infinity videos. I was actually, yeah. Just members only. Members only. Because we're not getting paid for those at all. Nope. And all they're doing right now is causing us problems. Yep. Like, if we deleted them all from the search Then we're going to lose those views, which will uh, hurt our, um... It'll hurt us in the algorithm if, if like... If me, I would delete them, honestly, but... There goes, like, 20, 20 million views, though. But you're not getting paid for any of those views. It determines our CPM, and our ad revenue is already low as it is. If we got rid of that, we'd kind of be finished. They'd give us like a $1 CPM. So, you're doomed if you keep them, you're doomed if you don't. So, does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I noticed there was a vlog recently where I took a vlog of you and me going out, and I was mm -hmm. had a, I was unusually hyper and happy and excited and like you, you were, unusually hyper because you were getting me Kikomon soy sauce, and the the comments for that video were removed. Ooh. And it was a vlog of you and I. Mm. There were no children on the vlog. So when you listen to your voice though. So obviously YouTube and the government thought I was Yeah, but I, I just wanted people to know we're not censoring you guys in the chat. YouTube censoring you. Um for the benefit of this channel. There I mean so when you're on a live stream or a premiere, enjoy them because I mean it's not a guarantee that those chat logs are gonna stay there forever. Um we have no control over that. We had to give over ownership and uh, that's quite why a while ago. Luke it may end up having to play some tasteful M games on this channel eventually. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because if we don't, we could lose the whole channel. Well, that's why I did Devil May Cry last year, because I wanted... Uh, the, the reason why I did it is if we got taken to court, then I could slam uh, the people accusing us to be like, well, wait a second, this is Devil May Cry. Um, how would you view this, Senator? How would you, you know... What would you call this? Is this a kid property? What I about this? This is Gundam. This is... I could always stream an old Assassin's Creed game eventually or something. Mm, eventually. I mean, if, if it I came down to it. it. I mean, I want to do this smart, too, because you have to remember the witch hunt for M-rated content now. You have, to, you have to play smart. Then how do you... They're going for M-rated content, they're going for E-rated content. Not, not the FTC, YouTube and Google are, because... I know, so F YouTube and Google are taking down M-rated content. FTC taking down E-rated content. There's nothing left. Uh, there's the middle ground stuff. 
But you said, unless you have any kind of M-rated... If you don't have any kind of M-rated content on your channel, then they will... They can possibly take your channel down. Something like that. So it gets confusing. I, I try to keep track of it as best I can. I'm not but. confused. I can see what's happening. The writing on the wall. Boop. Like I said, I don't want to talk about it too much anymore. YouTube Whoa. watches all streams. They have monitors and they watch all of them. Yeah, it's yep, true. Yep, that's true. They do, but like, they do. But like, people on our streams, like, sometimes they like... Oh dear. They get very, like, upset when people get, oh. like, taken off. Like, they'll be like, oh my gosh, this person was banned. Censorship. And they'll, like, get upset, and it's like, it's really... I don't understand why on our stream... Oh, gosh! No means no. Yes, no means no. Oof. Oh, pfft. I know you don't have no in your vocabulary, so. I don't think that's gonna work. It's gonna be like, oh, thank you for the pillow for me to press. Yep, there she goes. I didn't care. Annoying. <laughs> Makes it hard with the crazy music, though. Oh my gosh, you know what that music sounds like? Da, 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 Death. Da, da, da. No, it sounds like this one part in the Three Amigos. Mm, I'm gonna disagree. Okay. This part you can talk to me, it's just not the other part, but don't talk about anything weird. Okay, cool. So I gotta go that, and then I have to spin around here. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, now I just need to get this stupid shell. Ding. Zelda, please don't do that. She's like, why do you keep your printer out like this? Well, she's messing with your Canada Dry. No, don't mess with my Canada Dry! I need that for when my stomach is erpy. Stupid cat! Right, come on. Don't mess with that, yo. That's my Canada Dry. I don't even drink a lot of soda, so... No! Let's go, let's go, let's go. You gotta take your medicine. You don't have an off button. <gasps> what did you do? It's a good idea. Don't forget your stuff. I, I won't be up to check. <gasps> Why does Luigi have to do that weird run thing? Why does he have to sputter off? He has this annoying ability where he just like... Wait, did I go the wrong way? Did I just do something wrong? No, this is right. Yeah, he has this annoying slide ability! Come on, buddy. Come on, Luigi. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <gasps> oh, oh! Yes, 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 yes! No! Why is it not grabbing the ledge? Oh. Oof. Oh my gosh. Oh.
Oh, that's 60 stars. Let me discover a new galaxy. No thanks. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, let's not do that again. The Comet Observatory is at full power. Now it can fly through the cosmos again. Yay! It's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one? Wait. Please speak to me again. No. Nope. I don't think I will. He slid! Oh my gosh. Yes, I really want to quit. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. So anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for uh, tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow's streams will be Luigi Galaxy at 8 something. Um, Minecraft character stream at 6 o'clock. I'm going to go set that up now. And all that fun stuff. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, thank you to our newest Ultimate and uh, Casey. As well as um, look for E. Mr. Turbo Man's Paper Mario stream sometime this week. We've got Ed's uh, Ultimate stream on a cool mystery game, which is going to be really fun. Um, so you can look forward to that this week as well. Um, last week ended with we did Brady, Ruga, and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Carlos. And uh, this week we're going to be doing E. Mr. Turbo Man, Ed, and... Um, I'm trying to remember who else. There was like one other. And then we'll of course get Casey's uh, what they want to do. But you guys have a great one. Thanks so much for hanging out. And uh, sorry about the headache. Um, but retro games do that for me sometimes. But yeah, we're all good to go. Um, G.I. Joe will have an episode up tomorrow sometime. Probably by 11 o'clock. Like p.m. Um, I don't think there'll be an 11 o'clock stream on this channel tomorrow. Because I am really, really want to try to do my Batman topic. Um just because it's becoming kind of like a running thing that I'm never going to do it. But this is probably part of the reason why I don't really go over on my other channels. Because uh, that channel also gets hit with a lot of content ID for reviews and um, whatchamacallit. Uh, the thing where you watch videos and you comment on them with your face. All those have been hit. Like this week alone I, I lost about 100 videos that are all demonetized over there. So my CPM like was gutted. So it doesn't really give me any incentive to go over there because everything I do, if I don't make super chats or anything like that, I don't make any money anymore over there. Um, so it's just kind of like, I don't know. But I really want to go over and, and talk and do the podcast. It's just I really don't have any... Um, uh, I just don't feel like it right now, to be honest. Sorry. Um, but the headache today definitely cemented that because I was probably just going to end up ranting about YouTube tonight anyway, which would have been bad because that's not what people want to hear about um, for the Batman podcast. But Zelda and I say goodnight. Uh, see you guys with Minecraft at 6-ish. And uh, sorry the turtle stream didn't go too well, but uh, hopefully everybody had fun. God bless, guys. Have a great night. And uh, check out the uh, new t-shirt that's in the description. It's uh, G.I. Joe. It's really awesome. Bye-bye. <laughs>